So is the headset the my earbuds? Yes. Hi. You don't hear me? Oh no. Hi, hi, one, two, one, two. <laughs> One, two, one, two, can I, am I going to talk? Am I going to go deaf? Uh-oh. Let's hope not. Okay. Phew. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to CNET Live from our studios here in San Francisco. I like that little bit of a Hollywood intro. Wasn't that kind of cool? We're talking all things Apple today. It is yet another Apple event, and today it's going to be a little bit different. We're not expecting hardware. We're pretty much expecting services, and that doesn't sound very sexy, but it's going to be <laughs> potentially streaming services. We'll get into all of what we expect very, very soon. My name is Lexi Savides. Let's do the introductions around the table. We have a fantastic crew of CNET ladies right here. We have from Vanessa Hand Oriana from the Apple Corps Hi. and CNET's Apple Show. You follow all of the news and rumors so much. You just, you, all of the rumors, just, you have everything. I have yeah. all the answers. Lexi. You know everything. So basically, <laughs> I can just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride while you take us through we the show. Go. Yeah, we could yeah. go. I can tell you everything that's going to be announced right now. I have a crystal ball with me let's right just, here. Oh, let's just call her Vanessa Apple. <laughs> Vanessa Apple. Yes. I like Vanessa it. Apple. I changed Perfect. my Twitter handle for the time being, but. <laughs> so good. I love it. And talking all things streaming from Stream Economy, seen it's Ashley Esqueda. Welcome. Hi, friends. Hello. Your glasses are just next level, I have to say. They're oh, fantastic. Bless you. <laughs> and the man with all of the magic making this show happen, it is Stephen Beecham. Howdy. Woo. Good morning. Woo. Good morning. Good and morning. And pair of hands is Bonnie Gibbs. And Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie's hands. Our hands fantastic producer Bonnie back in the background. <laughs> Super Hi. producer. Yeah. All right. This is going to be a, a definitely an interesting event. So we want your questions. We want your comments. CNET Live is the hashtag on Twitter. We're going to be checking in throughout the show. So let us know what you're expecting, what you're hoping for. And during the event itself, we want to know. So let us know. 
Okay, so in the past week, we've had uh, three announcements in terms of hardware from Apple. We had the new AirPods, we had the new iMac, and we also had an iPad mini. So we know pretty much today we're not expecting any hardware. Or this is, are we? Well, are we? Okay, so this <laughs> is an upgrade Apple TV. Do you think they'd upgrade Apple TV? Well, it I makes know. sense given the context of this event. Being I don't want to rule anything pods. out. Sure, sure, Let's sure, not sure. rule anything out just in case. It's yeah. you're you're probably right, Lexi. But there are a few lingering things, like Ashley mentioned. Maybe Apple TV. This would be a good place to do it. But that air power mat, good <coughs> God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's that air power? <laughs> let's, well, let's be honest. I'm not holding my they breath for air power. They don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I really, Never heard of it. It, Never doesn't, heard of it. it doesn't exist. Look, I, I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about how Apple's definitely trying to, trying to change the way that these events are being framed. Obviously, we're not expecting hardware today. The way that the products were announced over the past week, all of those three were announced via tweet. And obviously, like Tim Cook, did the whole meme thing by announcing everything on the iPad mini. <laughs> I thought that was kind of cute, the memes that resulted as from that. That was really sweet. We were uh, in very hilarious. different timelines. <laughs> we were in really? very different Not Twitter timelines. Yeah. I Actually, thought it was I, hilarious. Look, I love my memes. Twitter, I love my Twitter timeline. Like my news feed is great. You guys are savage like it's <laughs> but it was definitely not nice it was funny it was really funny but yeah like um not sweet no no, no. I, oh no. okay maybe i'm just the weird one that thinks those funny memes are sweet well you follow nice people yeah you probably okay nice that's true yeah. in- i'm from hollywood where everyone stabs each other in the back so it's uh yeah that's that's the... in case you don't know it was like a uh it's it said hello but it was it lended itself to become blank and write whatever you wanted because he was yeah. writing oh, on it. There it is. There it is. There are plenty of bad ones. That's actually my timeline. How did you know? But yeah, That's so funny. oh, look, it's AirPods. Oh, look at that. <laughs> but yeah, you can imagine the creativity that ensued after this went up. I love I love, I love Sam. 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 I like the one that's just infinite. That was nice. I saw that. Yeah. I got that one in my feed. There's a whole bunch of them. I, this is so good. Like cat memes. Yeah, you got all the good I'm, stuff. I'm like afraid as he scro- continues I know, to scroll. That's gonna be know. something it's unsavory. Like, it's like gambling. Yeah, yeah. Like I like really this. Is my gambling. favorite one. This one's one. great. Look yeah. at this. T- <laughs> TC getting down. Yeah, Tim Apple. Jam Tim out. Apple getting down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So apart from memes, we've had the hardware. Now services. Obviously, Apple over the past few years has really been pushing services as a part of its portfolio. I think on pretty much every. Apple earnings call that I've listened to over the past couple of quarters, it's all been about how big our services business is becoming. It's like the size of a Fortune 100 company. It's on all of these. It's billions of dollars worth of revenue here. Now, let's talk about what we expect from the services today. Vanessa, you have been following all of these rumors so much on the Apple call. All right, run us through the top services that we're well, expecting i mean in terms of services i mean it's interesting it, we have to keep in mind that you know i uh, their apple music is a service and uh, the app store is a service um and the reason being this is kind of tim cook's baby just because apparently they knew that the the iphone wasn't going to be their goose with the golden eggs forever and we saw this in the last earnings report right. so you know, it makes sense for them to start kind of seeing what that next thing is. And we all thought it was going to be hardware, right? They were going to do the, you know, the VR glasses or the the self-driving car. That's been slow to the roll. So we're left with, you know, services, which may be their next big thing. What's where they make? They make a lot of money on services. They do. And I think a lot of people don't think about that because they look at the huge price tag of an iPhone yeah. and they're like, well, you're just, you know. Apple's price gouging me. But it's like, at the end of the day, Apple, yes, they want you to buy the phone. But really, at the end of the day, they want you to buy into all the services so that they can take that take that big giant cut and, you know, make weird make weird stuff. And Tim (laughs) Apple needs his iPads. Yeah, (laughs) they they want both. They want both. They want they want the cake. They want to eat it. And they want everything. They want to own the cake. Yes. (laughs) Eat the cake. (laughs) cake. Make the cake. Make Make the cake. Sell the cake. Own the ingredients. Yeah. (laughs) Own the ingredients and the entire supply chain. They would like to own all the chickens that make the eggs. Like literally, this is how Apple has always functioned. And Tim Cook especially is like the the king of supply chain. So this is I mean, this is classic Apple. They want to own the supply chain of what's going through their iPads, their iPhones. So a TV service makes a lot of sense. Well, and let's talk about that TV service. So this event, not only because it's not going to have hardware, is going to be different from anything we've seen from Apple. And obviously, this is not the first event at the Steve Jobs Theater. But this is the first event where um, 
tech journalists are going to be pale against turned away the, at the door. Turned away <laughs> in, in, because celebrities are going to be at the event. I mean, and obviously Apple has sometimes celebrities. You know, they sure. They, but this but is it's the f- celebrities who are interested in iPhones, right? Are interested in the tech. Yes, not who celebrities who not are, a who's who. Yes, this will be you know kind of a red carpet. I don't know that that's kind of what I'm expecting. Yeah. Um, but in terms of the the streaming service itself, this has been a long time coming. It's not a secret that Apple has been working on video streaming for a while. They've spent over a billion dollars uh, in creating original content. We're talking about original series of every kind. Um, there's at least uh, there's over 20 in the works. Some have already wrapped up. Um, Here's the thing, though. <laughs> I want to I want to talk about this because I've heard a lot of I'm a. I don't, I don't keep up with Apple News. <laughs> so uh, I'm a person who, like, let's say I'm out there watching this stream and I'm like, I don't really watch a lot of Apple News. A billion dollars sounds like a lot of money. Yeah. Oh, However. Yeah. One billion dollars. One billion dollars is, is, it is in fact a lot of money. However, Netflix spending on their originals, mm-hmm. not, not licensing, they're expected to hit $15 billion this year. Okay, that, that book so puts a, it in perspective. A billion yeah, is sure. a real drop in the bucket compared yeah, to that yeah. 15. Amazon is reportedly spending $1 billion or is expecting to spend $1 billion on one single show, which is the Lord of the Rings prequel wow. series. So it is it is a lot of money. Look, they're they're getting it out there. They, and, and there is the, I really hate saying this, but it's like that, oh, do you want to work for exposure? <laughs> They're telling people like Reese Witherspoon, well, this is Apple. It's prestige. Like this is, you know, there's like, there is a prestige attached to the name Apple. And so I get why a lot of creators would want to go there and make the thing they want to make. Um, but it it certainly is not the most anybody's spending mm-hmm. on streaming content in, in a year. Not even close. <laughs> so that's, that's definitely a good point. And but I mean, for somebody who's new to the space, I mean, I don't think Netflix it's a lot started out in. spending out spending a billion dollars in content. Not right? in originals, like, no, absolutely not. In originals. Not. I mean, and it, and it's only because Apple has the money to spend when and Netflix they have started. To spend yeah, it. and they have to because they're late to the game. Very late. Very late to the game. So, you know, th- that there's that challenge. And then you know, the other thing is that in addition to the original content, they are said to be. Uh, they're said to be pursuing other companies like HBO Showtime to be part, to form part of this streaming service. But obviously they're not going to own the original content. They're just mm-hmm. going to let you subscribe from that same service. Which Apple would then take a 30% cut. Exactly. Up. So it's, that's, uh, that's the goal, man. That's the goal. But you know, th- they, they are giving them access to this wider uh, audience, this wider sure. reach. So that's, I mean, that's the goal. We'll see how they execute that. And then the other thing that may be coming alongside this uh, video streaming service is the magazine news subscription, which we'd also heard a lot about. Um, Apple has made some investments in the space. So again, it was, we saw it coming, but it's going to live in the news app and you're just going to be able to subscribe to get a more premium, uh, premium content. So we're talking about things like the Washington Post, Mm -hmm. where you would have to pay to get that kind of content or magazines and you would just pay this big bundle um, to get access to all these things that you would normally have to pay a, a individual subscription fee for. Sure. Again, you, what you were saying, Apple does, like the controversy has been that Apple wants to take a huge cut. They want to cut. They want to cut. But they have the distribution platform. And they have the eyeballs, right? Yeah, they have, yeah. I mean, literally the the saturation of people who own iPads, iPhones, Mac, laptop, like the saturation is huge. And so for a company who maybe is not reaching enough people via their website. Right. Because who visits websites anymore? <laughs> we live in a post-PC world. Um, it it, make, it, it would makes make a lot of sense for somebody like to be like, hey, I really want to get in on this. Like 50%? That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a big that's a lot That's the rumor out there. But we'll we'll see. And that's you know, high. Yeah. That is high. That is right. It's, it's high. Really that's high. like Shark Tank, where they're like, <laughs> exactly. We're gonna give you that's Mr. Wonderful to our platform for fifty percent equity. I, I'd also I'd also add that Apple's lost a lot of their cool factor the last few years. Yeah. So a lot of a lot of artists and musicians and and producers probably are not gonna jump on right away. Right. Just because it's kind of right. lost that like. People aren't sharing Apple Music playlists or sharing Spotify. But the thing Mm -hmm. is, you look at, say, we were talking about Apple being Mm -hmm. late to the game, obviously, in many different ways and different services and products. That has been the case. But then you see how quickly they play catch up in the case Mm -hmm. of, say, Apple Music. 
you know, it has pretty much overtaken Spotify, at least in the US. There was that big beef between Apple and Spotify just recently because Spotify didn't want to have to basically, uh, you know, pay for the right to be on the Apple store and get that percentage Mm -hmm. taken off the top. And then Apple retaliated with uh, with that statement that they put out um, talking about, you know, payments towards artists and things like that. I think, though, that Apple Music is kind of the case study to look at in terms of saying, even though Apple Music was fairly late to the game in terms of coming to market with a fully fledged streaming service, they did have a lot of people jump on board, celebrities and otherwise. They did have a different way of surfacing music through Beats One Radio. Whether or not you like that method or not is another discussion, but it has been extremely successful, especially because all of that service is already baked into your Apple products, such as the iPhone once you buy it. You're like, oh, Apple Music, my actual music is there and then I can also stream from it too. Okay, cool. Like, why would I even use something else, especially if you didn't already have an allegiance to another streaming service? And we just saw, like, how many of those music streaming services have pretty much, like, gone the way of the dodo over the past couple of years. You know, we started off with, like, you know, 20 music streaming services in the U.S. It'll be the same with TV. Oh, yeah, it'll be the same. And we're already seeing that. I mean, we've seen, like, NBC Universal has spun down CISO, uh, which are they're smaller, um, but we've seen a lot of uh, pay subscription video channels or services or platforms get spun down mm-hmm. in favor of new ones and so uh which which brings me to a tweet that i saw on the C- hashtag scene at live <laughs> timeline uh, on twitter which please tweet uh hashtag scene at live i'm watching you so be nice <laughs> um, <laughs> like that d- uh sarah what says disney plus in the apple news oh. service is it possible i say no yeah um here's why Disney likes money and they don't need Apple. <laughs> they don't need Apple at all. And uh, they, they will probably have very similarly to what we see on Apple TV, which is they'll have a portal to it on Apple TV, but it will not be included in this service. Mm-hmm. Like they, w- there won't be any kind of bundle or anything. I, d- I don't think I, I would be very surprised if that was the case. I would, I would have to agree with you. I don't think Disney, Dif- Disney does def- definitely does not need Apple. There was talks at one point that Disney would have to buy, uh, sorry, that Apple would have to make an offer to Disney to just be able to compete in this space. Mm. Obviously that didn't, it just, Disney's too much of a giant to even yeah. consider it. So Disney looks at your paltry billion dollars <laughs> spent and is like, ha, 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 get out. Yeah. Totally. Well, but we, I'm glad you did bring the, the, the iTunes, um, sorry, Apple there music, Apple music it's- example, because, but, 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 uh, Apple had made that big investment on beats Whereas right now, Apple doesn't have any kind of history with video streaming. So I think that might be the challenge on this on, mm-hmm. on this particular service. But I agree with you, Lexi, that obviously we can't discredit Apple and, and you know, just the way that it's able to cater to, to its consumers and the blend between hardware and software. That's something that a lot of these streaming companies don't have. They don't ha- necessarily have the... Sure. The way to get it out there to you, they have a leg up in that regards, but they definitely do not know how to deal with Hollywood, yeah. <laughs> which has been well, rumored. <laughs> Steve, Steve Jobs very famously had said he was, I'm trying to crack TV. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. And it in like we ha- still have not seen what that is you know for a long time we thought maybe it was a television yeah which is i remember that yeah yeah like a long time we thought it was a television and now like we're okay well we've moved past that like you know tvs are basically just like dumb pipes to just give us all the streams streaming stuff but it's like this is a it's very interesting to me that apple has really gone out of its way because it knows it has to to pick up really big names really big creators oh, yeah. um and also uh like beach was saying the cool factor they're they're picking up a couple of people who you might not traditionally associate with apple like rob McElhenney, who is um he plays mac on it's always sunny in philadelphia he's one of the executive producers of the show um he's creating a series a, like a comedy series about video game devs um for apple so this is like he he was tapped for that so it's there's certainly a lot of thought going behind like what is going into the service, but I do have concerns about, I know we had read some rumors that were saying that Apple was a little cagey about uh, racy content and things like that. And, <laughs> and if I know creators in Hollywood, they don't like to be restrained. Yeah. And so yeah, right. that, that makes them very angry. <laughs> um, and so I, I don't know if it's super duper wholesome, <laughs> they're never going to have, you know, that's cool. Like, look, I'm all about wholesome content like cool you do you apple but at the end of the day like you're never gonna have a game of thrones if that's if that's yeah. the case you're never gonna have you never have say. a breaking bad you're, yeah you're yeah. you're never gonna have these shows that are prestige television because they are 
they are dark. I mean, and sex they can in be the dark. city, sex the original, city. right? Like that seems wholesome now. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's true. Their first big bet was like tap the app, tap the tap that tap app that or something, app, and then all Planet of the Apps. Planet so of the Apps. That that's sounds racy. Tap that app. Yeah, that's our scene at After Dark shows. Yeah. Those are that's our 11 p.m. programming. Um, but yeah, like the, and then they did Carpool Karaoke. They had an offshoot of that, and the thing is, Lexi like, has a lot to say about Carpool. Yeah, <laughs> I have wholesome. many. I have many thoughts about the Apple original programming that yeah. we've already seen. I think you know Planet of it's the not Apps great. was <laughs> not great. Um, up, it yeah, let's. It was. It was not. I mean, look, the uh, the original premise of Carpool Karaoke great but just watching it with a multitude of celebrities alongside that weren't yeah. particularly fun to can watch can i just create a dev that yeah. show just a little bit Please. tim apple if you are watching or listening <laughs> put a fan inside that car put a fan oh, of the, everyone looks yeah. sweaty inside huh? the car mm-hmm. oh my god and like i could go so wrong and so right about in so it, many ways is that matthew that mcconaughey yeah. with with his sunglasses on he just looks like he looks something like he had his else. eyes dialed like how much <laughs> It, it does. A, it looks like the Weird Al super fan was in the car with him, with with Weird yeah. Al. Yeah. Like it would yeah. be, and you get that experience. Look, I sang with Foo Fighters one time, and that was like a real <laughs> highlight of my life. Maybe even better than having a child, which I'm gonna do this year. She so may bring it up again this live show. I will bring it up every live show <laughs> until I'm dead. Yes. Um, because, but the thing is, is like that that fan interaction is really fun, and and it, like you said, it's an element of the unknown. You don't know what to expect, but this is so curated and so. It it just feels so tightly wound. Mm-hmm. Like it's just, it's it feels so like they're so scared of offending somebody or yeah. oh maybe it's gonna be a little. But too that's racy. Apple. I mean, we we've deal been dealing with Apple as a you know as a tech company for so long, and they are notoriously secretive. They're notoriously scary. Uh, sorry, <laughs> secretive. They are scary. They are scary. scary. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it, yes. And they're they're so tight lipped about their products. They're so they're they're so hesitant about announcing anything until they know a hundred and ten percent that this is gonna be something successful. And like you know, it, unlike someone like Samsung, for example, they launch stuff and they don't know if it's gonna work. Like the Fold, for they just example, do it. Apple just would never do something like that. They are just so careful, curated. It's yeah, so curated. Well, they did, they are famous for the. Oops, my mic, my mic's dying. The courage thing where they took the headphone <laughs> yes. jack out. So well, that is pretty. So that's that's pretty brave. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I mean, I've never that's seen such bravery. Yeah. That was that. super brave. But, but so you know, brave. and you can't do. You kind of can't do that in Hollywood. There's been talks that they no. ha- they haven't they haven't even shared the distribution uh, details with some of their their part their content partner, partners. Right. They don't know the marketing details, and this is kind of creating a little bit of friction. Obviously, this is all hearsay at this point. We won't. We will never know the the behind the scenes talk between Apple and these companies, but this may be one of the hurdles that Apple has to clear mm-hmm. because they're so used to dealing with products and not well. They're services. so used to controlling everything, exactly. And that's th- this is an element that they there's some element of it bringing in outside creatives, even though they are Reese Witherspoon, like who seems you know very wholesome, except <laughs> for that DUI, which we're not going to talk about. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're not going to talk about that. That's right, I forgot about except that. Except um, she went there, but <laughs> I totally went there and. I'll so I hope she comes out and is like, don't you know who I am? Anyway, um, sorry. I love Hollywood. Uh, so, but at the end of the day, like they, this is an element of, this is a variable that in some ways they are not able to control because I'm sure they have offered a lot of money to these creators to come and make mm-hmm. whatever they want. One hit, one million is what I read the episode that Jennifer Aniston was given. Right. Wow. H1.1. Just them. That's their Just paychecks. Yeah, which is it's insane. network television levels of pay. I mean, like Friends. The cast of Friends were yeah. each making a million dollars an episode at After, the end. After, during its peak. During its yeah, peak, yeah, yeah. yeah, at the end. And it's yeah. like, but Apple, I'm sure, if you're a creator and Apple comes to you and says, I want you to make a show, but it needs to be wholesome, it needs to be this, mm-hmm. it needs to be this. If I'm a creator, I'm like, no, I have so many options out there. I could go to Hulu. I can go to Netflix. I can go to Disney Plus. I can go. I can go anywhere else. Why would I make this show for you? So there has to be some freedom that they've given these mm-hmm, creators, mm-hmm. which is, I'm sure, very scary for them because yeah. they've, ne- oh, they yeah. they've never had to relinquish really really control. Had to really of control. But so, all right. So we've kind of talked about the streaming service. We've talked about the magazine subscription service. There are a f- couple other things that I did want to put out there that that could be in the works today. Um, one is a credit card, which is the least sexy thing in this that we're going to talk about in this show, but. Uh, it's it's pretty interesting from a financial standpoint. There has been talks that Apple is partnering with Goldman Sachs okay, for it. 
to oh, verify Justin, this. Justin, Justin from yes. Shara Tupkin on Twitter. Ah. Uh, she's just tweeted that spotted at Apple Pie. Solomon. There so you go. There you, there go. you go. Okay. There. Continue. So this <laughs> Apple branded credit card apparently now much more uh, much more likely than what I originally thought is. Sp- this is a no brainer to me. I guess so. Yeah. Why haven't they done this before? Know. Because they've offered credit on their website to buy products because yeah, they're true. expensive. True. So why why didn't they just do this years ago? Because it's not sexy. I don't. Uh, it's not sexy, but. Yeah. Who cares? It's, yeah, a who lot cares? Of, it's a service and That's it is true. a lot of money. That's There's true. a lot of money at play there. There's a yeah, they get to charge media interest. Companies. That's free money for them. I like, think, well, you know why it's I huge. Think, you know why I took note because because obviously the infrastructure to get Apple Pay familiar enough and yeah. rolled out enough. Because the rumors are that this credit card is ah. so to get people familiar mm-hmm. enough to be able to use to be able to go okay so i know that i can tap my phone on this terminal oh hey okay so apple pay cash was introduced i think maybe mm-hmm. a year or so ago um with an ios update you know i don't know how successful that's been in terms of user retention and people using it i use it occasionally i don't know i find it so difficult to find like it's like streaming services yeah which you watch to watch and then also like with payment services do it's like all, which how do i pay my friends do i do use my, does my friend have it does my friend have it do i use apple pay cash do i use mm-hmm. like facebook messenger cash do i use zell like a venmo like what there's am i doing there. there's a lot out there mm-hmm. so i think you know, obviously using it in the be a way to get people to go okay so um I, it's all just going to be easily integrated into my phone yeah. i don't need it, to go to my yeah. bank per se to yeah. actually put it on my phone it's so, just going to live there if you sign, like, how cool would it be if you signed up for it and you gave it your cell phone number and it knew that was your iPhone? Yeah. And it automatically just populated in your wallet once you got approved. Here you but, go. I mean, the the thing that they're saying, too, is that it, it'll be similar to a credit card in the sense that you'll get 2% cash back rewards. But for me, they're not going to give mileage credit. So no miles on this credit card. No which, travel. Okay. No, no travel. And then you might get some perks when buying other Apple products, which, again, makes sense. I don't know if that mm. would... Int- Maybe you get, like, an extra percentage cash back. Yeah, Like, if you buy probably. a new laptop, you get 5%. Right. Hmm. So, I mean... You know. Yeah, I, I, like, I, I get it. I Like I said, I, this is a thing that I think Apple has needed to do for a very low long fruit, time. Yeah. This is very low-hanging fruit for them. I am shocked they have not done it previously. I'm so glad you have a new microphone. I'm I know. So let's let's let's, let's see. We're just having a little bit of a technical difficulty. We just I'm <laughs> moving closer. Let's, let's move this one down. We'll move the camera in a, in just a okay. second. Oh, it go. makes a terrible Ooh. noise, doesn't it? Well, that's yeah. all right. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll move better. everything. Okay, <laughs> much better. Now you can better. hear me. Now you can actually you can hear scoot, my thoughts. Scoot this way. I'll scoot this way. No, I can move this way. Well, Vanessa wants me to be close to her, so here we go. But the audience wants you to be close. I'm here, everybody. I'm here. Let's check in on the on the CNET Live on the hashtag. I think there are a couple of questions that have come through. We want your questions, so if you have any thoughts about the event today or anything you're expecting or any questions you want us to answer, CNET Live is the hashtag. Ashley, who do we have lined up? Caller number one, line one. Will Lewis brought up a thing that we were talking about earlier, which is what's the chance we'll see a new Apple TV? And I I think that's worth maybe having a a slightly longer conversation about because when was the last time... They updated Apple TV three years ago, and mm, it's two and a half. It was the 4K version. 4K. It wasn't that long ago. I think it was well, a year and a bit. I feel Let like me look it, was it up. At least two yeah. years ago. I have a, a skewed I was, I was gonna say, timeline I feel like, yeah. because I, you know well, you have life, kids. Life yeah, happens, life, yeah. and then all of a sudden you get sucked into a time <laughs> vortex. Um, I get it. I get it. Uh, but yeah, so I like. I think this would be a great opportunity for them to open it uh, to to launch a new Apple mm-hmm. TV. Um, a really easy way to do it. Obviously, it wouldn't merit its own event because it's a product that right. already exists in the world. It's not probably not going to bust any doors down or anything like that. Maybe we'll see an Apple TV stick. That was something I was thinking maybe yeah. that would be really cool that they haven't Actually. done yet. A low-cost version of yeah. that Low only cost streams Apple. you Apple <laughs> Content. Uh, Apple yeah. streaming oh, service. Yeah. Not a bad idea, but Just low pop cost. that in there yeah. and it's basically, that's the streaming that's, service. That's actually a really good idea. And if Apple is, happens to be listening, they should start taking notes to You're what Ashley welcome. is saying. You're um, welcome. But let's be honest, well, low cost and Apple doesn't really go it together. It doesn't go together, but you know what? This is the first time that we're seeing Apple open, it, open up its ecosystem. But we'll categorize it as an Apple streaming service dongle. Dongle, yes. $30. That's, that's the price <laughs> of every dongle. $20 is a little ambitious, actually. 30 bucks it, is it a is dongle. Apple, after all. It'll still be $50 because it's Apple. Of course, but, $49.99. But, but it, is, it would make sense because, you know, 
the 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 cachet factor of like oh our products are premium has kind of taken a backseat to be able to expand its services because we saw them finally opening up to Samsung TVs. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have a lot of um you have more access uh, more apps on different smart TVs. Uh, AirPlay two is on different smart TVs, and this is a first for Apple. So I wouldn't be surprised they're doing they're gonna want to do everything in their power to make sure that the distribution for this streaming service is there. Whether that means yeah offering the the div little device that you're saying to to its consumers or I'd whether it's just like that. yeah just i mean little, because there are times where when you travel somewhere like you know when we come to ces mm -hmm. a lot of times i'll bring a, a roku stick but i'm if i had apple tv and it made it really easy for me to just toss yeah. airplay yeah. to the to to my hotel room tv like that would be really nice i would really enjoy that but i just apple tv sti stick stick is a little box bit is huge uh, or dongle? Uh, do we did we say Apple TV? Dongle? I'm just gonna call it an oh Apple TV dongle. That's what it's. Well, Apple, you know, Apple we do know that dongles are a big favorite of Apple, moving yeah, towards true, that system. True. So uh, <laughs> maybe it's not so far fetched. That's true. Uh, so yeah, the 4K Apple TV was released in 2017 at the iPhone 10 launch event. That's two, two years, years ago. ago. So, two years. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So it's it's. I think it's highly unlikely we'll see the full box as an upgrade today, but mm. you never know. I could be potentially very wrong. Definitely software. Definitely um, software. But the thing is, the question is, are going to see the service? I'm going to see the service available entirely on Apple's ecosystem of products itself, or are we going to see it opened up to other platforms? Are we going to see like the Apple TV app or whatever it's going to be called living on, say, like the Fire, Android. Uh, Fire the Android, Fire TV, yeah. anything yeah. like that in different platforms, Roku? I mean, historically, your, none of the... I, historically, they haven't yet, but they are opening it up. So I have the feeling it'll be everything they announced at CES, so like Samsung TVs and other smart TVs that may get some kind of Apple integration, I don't think they're going to be offering it yet on other, like, Apple T uh, sorry, Roku yeah. or, or Amazon TV. I say yet, absolutely yet. not, yeah. because because Samsung is letting them do that for whatever reason. I mm, Who knows? Mm. Um, but, well, Apple doesn't make a TV, so they're not in that space. Right. There's no they're way for them to compete. Yeah. There's no way for them to compete anywhere they're competitive. No. Yeah. Like, I, th I think no. But what about Apple Music on Android? Because that one was a really no, interesting a one to yeah. me. That was a big shock. Well, because Apple a lot Music of... was floundering. <laughs> At the was time. Was not, but not now, great. But now, look at it. Look yeah, at it go. A lot of people yeah. using actually, Android you'd be out surprised. There. The Apple Music experience on Android is actually fairly decent. Like yeah. I was genuinely surprised using it. I know it doesn't seem obvious to many people who are on Android. They're like, "What? I can get Apple Music on my Android? That's sort of weird." <laughs> so I wouldn't be surprised. And I think it would. I mean, honestly, I think Apple needs all of the help it does it can get in terms of getting its the word out about this new service that it's going to happen. So why yes, not put it across yet. different platforms? I mean, you're you're right, but they're going to probably wait not yet. Yeah, they're, they're going to wait and see gonna the wait. success because if it's on a huge not out of the success, gate. Why would they? Why would they open it yeah. up? It yeah. doesn't make any sense. That's a good point. But yeah. okay, let's why let's iMessage is still on iPhones only. Yeah, like it's because there's no reason to open it up. But mm -hmm. let's let's talk about that success because we know a couple of projects that have already been started. Ashley, I know you've been following this really closely in terms of the entertainment space and the streaming space. So what do we actually know about the shows that Apple has got on board so far and the creators that are involved? I mean, we mentioned Reese Witherspoon. We mentioned Jennifer Aniston. I know there's like a Kevin Durant special in the works. For J.J. Abrams. Yes. They're working with J.J. Abrams. They, Steven Spielberg. There is... There's a lot, yes. Yeah. Spielberg. I mean, they're really going for Olivia prestigious. Spencer? Yeah, they're they're going for very prestigious uh, creators. And the thing name recognition, <laughs> it's very competitive. So not only a lot of people consider like, oh, well, their biggest competitor is Netflix. But it's like, yes, that's true. Like Netflix is a huge competitor, especially now that they're spending so much money getting into originals because they know Disney's taking all of their content mm -hmm. off of Netflix. Like. Disney's going to now own Hulu, which is going to be a whole other thing. And it's like, so they also, though, have to compete against HBO and Stars and Showtime and other paid channels, even CBS All Access. Disclaimer, CBS is CNET's parent company. Uh, mm -hmm. And so, but but they have to compete against the people like that who are telling Jordan Peele, would you like to come remake the Twilight Zone for us? Mm -hmm. And it's that has to be a very difficult challenge for them like oh, to yeah. have to what what promises they have made to be able to get people to come to this service and the goodwill that they've built up over the years i mean they're really cashing those checks right now mm -hmm. and so i think 
I think this will be a really interesting thing to see all of these um, movies. I mean, we're seeing movies and TV. It's not just going to be a bunch of TV shows. Yeah, they bought a bunch of movies uh, at the last Sundance, I believe. Um, it, they they bought at least, I think, three. Yeah. So they, they but there was, again, they're bidding making, wars all over the place. Yeah. Like this. They're also competing against like just Instagram stories and yeah. YouTube. And, and you're just, also competing you know, kids against the just, internet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. YouTube. Just, like it's, it's just. It's so wide. Twitch. Such a wide range of stuff now. Yeah. yeah. Very Twitch. Yeah. It's a million other stream ways to stream content, like regardless of what it is, prestige, not prestige. Um, but J.J. Abrams, Brie Larson, Jason Momoa, Oprah, Reese Witherspoon, M. Night Shyamalan, Ron Moore, who made Battlestar Galactica, Steven Spielberg. Like it's, this is a star studded <laughs> affair. Like they're not. They're not messing around here. You know who the real winners are? I don't think it's going to be the Apple consumers. It's no. Hollywood. Oh, my Hollywood gosh. Are yes. the worst. It's a great money. time to be in Hollywood They're making right all the it money right now. It's a great time. Yeah. Well, uh, so we, you guys, we're, we've mentioned streaming in terms of video, but there there might be another streaming to come out of this event. It's, it's unclear yet whether it's going to be announced at WWDC in June, the developers conference, or at this event. But there's also a rumor, guys, that there will be a video game streaming service out from Apple very soon, whether, at the, like I said, at this event or at the developers conference. So I know we've talked about uh, we've talked about it, Ashley, uh, on Stream Economy, and you've got a... I have some thoughts. <laughs> a couple of thoughts. Apple is not a... They don't make games. And neither does Google, to be fair. And they just announced <laughs> Stadia, and that looks really cool. Um, but... Apple also does not own a search engine and does not have server farms that are like Google server farms. And so to try to compete with them on any level would take a lot of money, which I guess Apple has. Like, yeah. that's, that's that's fine. Not a problem. But again, I go back to curating the content and cautiousness, uh, them not wanting, uh, you know, Violence. more adult <laughs> games on the App Store. Them not wanting, I mean, how do you reconcile putting do maternal on the app store like maybe you could like if apple gets a little more lenient about it but then is it a streaming service because if it's a game streaming service then are you going to make something like stadia are you going to have hardware is it going to be a box is it going to come with apple tv is it going to i mean there's a lot of questions yes. there and i think again apple is going to come so late to this game that not only are they going to have to just burn a bunch of money to spend just to get people involved, to throw money at the problem until it solves itself, they're also going to have to spend money on infrastructure, which yeah. Google already had. Yeah. So this is like, I mean, for Google, it's it seems very natural for them to do something but like even Stadia. For Google, it's a little bit out of the box, right? I mean, oh, you sure. were at the event. Well, how? What was the perception at the event? Well, I, the reception I think was well. Oh well, obviously. Google employees who are hollering and cheering, and same as same as the Apple event. Um, but overall, I think the general consensus was people were incredibly, I think, pr incredibly excited about the potential. Obviously, with Project Stream, we uh, we got a lot of information about how the you know the actual experience could work. But I think the big question that came out of the Stadia launch was: This all sounds fantastic in theory, but put consumers to actually cope yeah. with this like the internet the, the bandwidth do we have the bandwidth to do this i just yeah. i don't know especially in other countries around the world that aren't the u.s even the here in the u.s like most yeah. rural areas do not have the type of internet required to use this and also anybody who has that speed of internet or anybody who has enough internet and an interest probably already owns a console and or yeah. a pc a high-end pc yeah so what's the point like it doesn't make yeah. any sense. And and but really when you look at it, when you break it down, if you so on Stream Economy every week, if you haven't seen the show, like Saturdays we break down a really big piece of news and we talk about like what it means, what do we know, and how it sort of might play out. So one of the things we talked about la the only thing we talked about last week was Stadia and the conversation was what is this for? And really at the end of the day, this is a service meant to prop up YouTube. Like it's, it's meant to help yeah. YouTube because the thing is, is the, the name says it, it's stadia. It's, it's the plural of stadium. So it's meant to be multiple stadiums for people to come watch somebody do a thing, which is stream games. And so this is a way for YouTube to boost itself a little bit. And, and it's going to be great for streamers. And I think that's who that the service is made for. It's made for streamers. And if they get any ancillary benefit off of 
gamers going, oh, that's a really cool game. I want to try that right now. Great. But that's not their main goal. Like, I definitely think it's a service meant for YouTubers, like meant for streamers. So you, I mean, obviously you think that Apple right now has no shot <laughs> if they were to launch a, gr- a gaming service right they'd now. have to or do something game. so extraordinary um just because <laughs> consoles already have game streaming services we have playstation now which is admittedly not not quite as good as xbox game pass but it's 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 mo- it's still moving and continuing to improve we now have stadia in the mix which is going to kind of change maybe the way we access pc games um you know there are already platforms out there that are enabling us to play remotely and via streaming and i mean apple nobody's going to want to partner with them hardware wise so what hardware do they have to, they don't mm. and i don't traditionally i mean I, they have the i iPhone. have never seen apple nobody develops games for mac like it just it's not a thing really anymore. Like it's I mean there every now and again you might, but really high end AAA games never get developed for Mac. What about Apple but, TV? Like Roku has games and, and uh, but they're all simple stuff it's like apps. that. Yeah, it's like real yeah. simple it's like apps. games. But like, I mean, but you're not going to be streaming Assassin's Creed if, Odyssey. I mean, what if, what if they're going for a different type of audience? What if they are going for the you know less intense gamer that just plays casually on an app? But who's on paying their for that? Phone? Because the people yeah. who play casually on their phone Kids, play free to play. Maybe they well, yeah, play free to play. Right, you're right. And so what what is the point of having that yeah. service? Well, and here's where it comes down to price. And I think we should. This is an important topic to ta- talk about because we've been talking about all these potential streaming services or uh, streaming services and financial services that Apple may be getting involved in as of today. But we haven't really talked about price. And I think that's where Apple may have a competitive advantage. Well, if they choose, yeah, how much am I paying for I this? I mean, if they choose to 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 play this, uh, um, I'm going to go with that to play this right. So, right now there are a couple different rumors out there. One, and we can laugh about it, is that their original content will be free to iOS users. So, <laughs> I mean, let it out, let it out. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> let's let's, let's be on it. <laughs> Look, it's before <laughs> 10 a.m. We can't it. have jokes like that I before know. 10 a.m. I know. Okay, so there's that school of thought. Um, there was a recent Wall Street Journal report that contradicted that, but they they have it at nine ninety nine. So this will include the the Apple's original content. So you'll get you know your trial period, like what you what happened with um, Apple Music and what happens with a lot of these, where you where you get what three months free to get you bi- um, to get hooked. you hooked on the the binge watching their TV shows. And then the, it'll be nine ninety nine going forward. That seems to be the magic number for all these services nine ninety nine. And then uh, apparently you're going to be able to add other services like Stars, like Showtime, like HBO for nine ninety nine, which is still cheaper than what you'd pay for an individual plan of right. HBO. They'd subsidize. Yeah, they would subsidize it for you. So that would might be an incentive to to go uh, to to have the your HBO subscription and your Apple. Through, subscription like, through yeah through this apple sense. tv service right so that might be one way and then the other thing is that they uh so if even if their their origin their news content is 9.99 as well which seems pretty high but if you're getting all these different publications for 9.99 that might be the other thing they could do and they probably will is bundle all these services so kind of like amazon prime does where they have one price for that includes your apple music that includes your Apple streaming services. It includes, you know, maybe some iCloud storage to throw in there as well. I mean, they they now have a pretty wide portfolio that they could offer bundled right. together. But here's the thing with the Prime analogy. I like the idea of it, but I think in practice, you think about what Prime gives you. I know it's a lot more expensive. It's, what, $120 now Dude, a been, year. Maybe. But that's the thing. You get stuff. You have yeah. to buy stuff, but you get stuff faster with Prime. There are a lot of other things that you get with Prime. It's a retail mm-hmm. service, It's and you get stuff at Whole Foods. It's not just simply, I get to stream content. You actually get to receive. Anybody who subscribes to Prime just for the TV services, I like know, for, yeah. for no, Prime Video. No, no, I don't think so either. I yeah. agree. It's like a bonus. Exactly. Like, oh, it's a bonus. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, like, oh, I'm also, watch. also, how even, okay, so let's let's go with this $9.99 pricing and then this discount pricing for uh, HBO and premium, or whatever. premium yeah. subscriptions. So if that's the case, one, why did HBO agree to that? Because they're doing just fine. People yeah. paying $15 a month on HBO now. Two, that is, 
the only thing I can say about that pricing would be that it is temporary and Apple will it will raise it at some right. point because they cannot of continue course. to subsidize that. But I mean, but even Netflix raises its prices. It's sure. something to be expected. But doesn't it right? feel disingenuous for them to be like, and it's nine ninety nine plus you can pay ten dollars a month for HBO, and then in you know two years or whatever, once yeah. they get it off the ground, they're like, well, we're now we got to go back. It's like cable pricing. It's like old sure. cable pricing, old promotional. But, pricing. I mean, just but be it upfront happens. about it. It, it. I say just be upfront about it. Sure. I mean, I think for now they're gonna they're gonna focus on just trying to get those people in, right? Oh, because yeah. once they're in, I mean. Netflix just bumped up its prices, and and of course they got they had people sign out, but but I I mean I kept I don't know about you guys not that many people yeah, signed out. I mean yeah. look, there's a lot of outrage online, and then not a lot of action exactly offline. But, and that brings me to my next question, ladies. So oh okay then. I thought because we have just got a call live in from Apple Park. We have Shara Tipkin on the ground there in the Steve Jobs Theater. Where where are you, Shara? Tell me, hi. Oh, I can see you. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Now, okay, you're in the Steve Jobs Theatre, right? Uh, yes, I am. Okay, so most important question of the day. Celebrity spotting so far. Like, have you seen a Kardashian yet? Oh, like. Oh, no, I have seen no celebrities whatsoever. What? I'm genuinely surprised about that. I thought today was going to be all about the celebrity spotting. Yeah, yeah, I thought so too, too but, but they, they it, it was freezing, freezing outside, outside, so they had us um, inside in the up, upper, upper area. area. Sorry, Sorry, I'm, I'm echoing, echoing a lot, so it's confusing. But, but um, yeah, yeah, so, so I, I think they probably had a celebrity, celebrity somewhere else. else. They're sneaking them in the back door. I think so. The They're coming. Entrance. So there was yeah. no red carpet. I'm genuinely, like, saddened yeah. about that. I thought maybe <laughs> this would be a slightly different turn of events yeah. for Apple. All right, so tell us about, well, obviously, we've been talking a lot, um, Shara, before you joined us, about today's predictions, what we're thinking. But you follow Apple incredibly closely as well. What kind of big surprises do you think Apple can pull out of the hat today in order to make us go, yeah, actually, I need to pay an extra 10, 12, whatever dollars a month for another streaming service honestly i have no idea what they could do <laughs> uh, based on <laughs> based on what we're kind of hearing that they could do it sounds really like they're going to be changing tv it's really just kind of giving us another way to get our subscription services uh, you know we think it's going to be a gaming service which could be interesting um video service and then a news service so we just have to see what partners they actually get on board with it to see if it's something that we want to pay for okay so you haven't seen celebs in the audience this is another sort of celebrity no. spotting what other ceos from other streaming companies from like we saw that Go tax yeah, executive was companies. there like who else have you seen anyone else like you know we had chris evans oh, call in yesterday sorry. i'm having Technical difficulties. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what a lot of the streaming CEOs look like, but I, <laughs> I saw somebody tweet that a Roku CEO is here. Um, Goldman Sachs, the CEO, is here, which indicates that we could see something financial, um, like Apple giving financing for its devices or an Apple. We'll see what that is. Um, I haven't seen a lot of other CEOs here yet. Um, we literally just got in here, though, so I haven't had a lot of time to look around. Well, you need to make sure you get a prime position and get ready for all of the ex all, the, all of the stuff that's happening today. Shara, Shara, I have a question for you. Is there any um, indication that there might be some kind of demo room presentation after the event, or or is it different from other events? You've been to so many of these events. What what's the vibe? Is there anything different this time around? Um, I don't think there's going to be a demo room. It doesn't really seem like there will be. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of like seeing, seeing trailers and stage, but I don't think that there's really going to be anything for us to get hands on with. And, and we, you know, in terms of past events, Shara, what's the, is there anything different from your experience uh, at Apple that you may have not seen at other events or is anything, anything notable? Less, less tech geeks than, than usual. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Shara, we're going to let you go and get, okay. get settled in and get ready for the event. Uh, we expect some selfies with Tim Apple when you see him, so please keep us abreast of those. Yeah.
Saying it live is the hashtag. <laughs> Thanks, Shara. Bye. Thank All right. So, I have a question for you before we continue, because before this event goes live and before they announce and show us what they got, I want to gauge you ladies, yes or no, would you subscribe without knowing anything or with what we know so far to any of these services? Uh, just It can be just one. It can be all of the above. I just want to know, would you subscribe to one of them? Yes or no? So for me, for the streaming service for video, I would say no. And I'll tell you why, because I have a <laughs> thoughts on this because I have so many interesting saturating my life so far you know Hulu Netflix Prime I don't need to add another one and find it yet like me sitting in front of the TV just scrolling through and going what should I watch tonight because unless Apple can show me that they have an amazing way to curate content that is going to be tailored mm. to me better well right now anyway mm -hmm. if they can show me that then maybe I will go in and I thing today apparently the average I think the average American if, who subscribed to four subscription services they spend an average 36 minutes a night scrolling and deciding wow. what to watch and I never felt more seen in show. my life yeah, like that is show. a whole show in it honestly well that's a really interesting point Lexi um that and a really like an opportunity for Apple to come in here because they have a lot of data from users. They've kind of tried to do it with Apple TV about curating content and list suggestions. So if if they can crack that one, that's interesting. Okay, so so it sounds like you're no right now, but you're willing to be convinced. How about you, Ashley? Nope. No, no, like <laughs> flat um, out, like so. Like no. Okay, so I so on Stream Economy, we talk a lot about streaming services. We talk a lot about platforms, and um, we're getting to a point now where we there are too many. So, and it's, it's, we've, we've reached saturated, like peak saturation here and Apple has shown me absolutely nothing. They're secretive and that's fine. Good for them. But they have shown me absolutely nothing to get excited about. They have not done anything to make me say that's a much must watch show on the flip side of that. Mm -hmm. I have John Favreau in my Instagram feed tweeting pictures of Taika Waititi doing voices doing a voice for ig88 the bounty hunter in the mandalorian coming out this year on on disney plus oh. huh. uh, yeah. i don't know what you just that's said so, that was a different language so to me. previews of these amazing things they're doing yep. on this star wars tv show that's mm -hmm. going to be coming out this live action star wars show that disney plus is going to put out later this year and i'm like that's the service i'm waiting for yeah like an apple has Fair done enough. nothing to to Hollywood is all about promotion. Mm -hmm. Like literally yep. this entire yep. industry is about promoting yourself mm -hmm. like and your projects. And for Apple to have been so secretive about this up until this point, which is literally the worst kept secret in the universe, yes. is ludicrous. And I think that they are doing themselves a disservice. They're going to do this event, and I'm predicting that people are going to say, oh, those trailers were cool, but ultimately underwhelming. Mm -hmm. There's not going to be anything that's going to blow our minds to the point where we're going to go, I must subscribe to this. Mm -hmm. And I have actually mm -hmm. been paring down all of my subscriptions because I'm like, do I really need this show? And, and you're have, saving up space for the Disney one. <laughs> that, and also, we have got to get over, as a collectively, as a bunch of cord cutters, at this point, like we were saying earlier, it is there. It, we have an embarrassment of riches in the way of what to watch. It's it is Hollywood stuff. This is a golden age of especially TV. We have got to get over the FOMO <laughs> on uh, on other stuff. Like we have to get over. Oh my God, I might miss Handmaid's Tale. I yeah. must pay twelve dollars a month for Hulu. No, you don't. You don't need you. You can choose. And if something's not doing something for you, even if it is a water cooler moment, skip the show. Like, and so for me, I dropped Hulu. I dropped, like, I dropped, like, four or five different services. And I'm, like, down to, I'm down to, like, three now. It's, what's, like, HBO, Netflix, yeah. Philo is my, like, live TV. But I need to have RuPaul's Drag Race. See, again, <laughs> I must have that. And I'm willing to pay $16 a month to get it. Wow. So that's fine. Like, yeah. But, okay, so... You're 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 definitely on the other side of the spectrum, Ashley. But but you said something interesting because it just takes one show. It does only it take only one show. It only takes one show to, grab to get us. you. Exactly. I don't think we're gonna see that show. You today. don't think we're gonna see that show? No. Okay, I'll be I'll be the fangirl here, and I'll say you know you're gonna do it. No, I mean I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sign on. I want to see what they got, but I am <laughs> open to being enticed. I I've been you know obviously. I, I too don't ha even have the time to watch any of these. If they shows, bundle but. it in with Apple Music, 
Yes. I would if it was 20 yes. bucks a month yes. for both Apple Music and TV. Any bucks a month? That's a lot. Spotify and Hulu are together for $10 or a 10, month. Okay, so <laughs> 15, let's say $15 a month for both. Okay. Like I would yeah. consider that okay. because I paid 10 for Apple Fair. Music. Fair enough. That seems that seems well, like a I'd consider it like a like a Amazon thing yeah. where it's like you're getting more services. Well, and then and then maybe throw in the news thing. Like Twenty bucks. I right right now I steal my parents' uh, Washington Post subscription. Washington Post is not rumored to I'm be on this service. I'm calling Jeff Bezos right now. <laughs> so He's I be mean, so disappointed in you. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I mean, don't, he really don't we needs all that share money, Netflix Vanessa? He, he's almost poor. He's borderline poverty. I'm revealing <laughs> secrets on this show he that only I should owns not. Three be. rockets that go into outer space. Look, let's space. be honest. I, I, Add that I just wanted to give us a quick time check. We have seven minutes oh, to go shoot. before the actual event. We've been talking for a long time. We've got seven minutes to go. We're looking for your questions on CNET Live, which we'll get into. Yes, please answer that question for us. Would yes. you subscribe? Yeah, would you subscribe? And you God, know, I'm so curious. Yes or no? And you can be individually or as a bundle. Would you subscribe to the Apple services that we have been talking about? The rumored Apple services right now before the event. And then I want to kind of see if, if they manage to change your mind, you know? Yeah. So Dor Dorf Dad on Twitter says, uh, I believe Apple will go with the Microsoft Game Pass service for iOS and Apple TV gaming. Ten bucks for a collection of 100 iPhone, iPad games. I don't think it'll be that expensive if they do it. Uh, developers get a cut. Obviously, they'd get a cut of that. Let's look at this tweet from Tim Cook. Just gone out, lights, you know, Tim, a, Tim Apple, he's changed his name back to Tim Cook now. Yeah, oh, lights, sorry. camera, action. Uh, you know, he's, he's, he's trying real hard, though. He is trying <laughs> really hard. Right, real hard. is doing such a good job. I know. Twitter, Look, I mean, props for the emoji use there, but I, it wasn't as memeable as anything <laughs> yeah. previously. So, um, okay. I think he's learned not, to, like, what not to put yeah. on Twitter now. <laughs> Do you have <laughs> it? Memed. Like, yeah, that, he's like, yeah. Please don't put anything with a blank screen. Don't stand in front of a green screen <laughs> yeah. today. Like, don't. I mean, although that would be really yeah, funny. Would be Maybe just amazing. do that. I, like, so Michael Pepper on, on our CNET Live hashtag says, what do you think the chances are Apple will bundle this with Apple Music? Do current subscribers have to do anything? They just get it. Maybe you just have mm -hmm. immediately have access to Interesting. it. Interesting. Um, also, maybe it's going to be more like Apple Music where you get access to the library or videos for a subscription. So between these two tweets. They've got to crack the code. <laughs> if it's 20 bucks a month for me to get access to Apple Games... Apple News, Apple Music, and Apple TV. Uh huh. I would consider that. Actually, change your tune. Look at that. But but it's like it's an added value mm -hmm. thing. It's mm -hmm. like if I have to subscribe separately to all these things, yeah. I will subscribe to none of them. Yeah. Okay. Because that is. And it's going to be called Apple Prime. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like. Okay. Apple so Prime. so Beach, would you subscribe to the service? Is this something you're interested in? I don't think so. Actually, I'm already subscribed. I already subscribe to Amazon, Sirius Radio, and then you know just Comcast Cable. I don't want to pay any more stuff. This is yeah. the thing. Even, even, even bundled, with stuff. even bundled though. Like even, even if bundled, yeah. Them, I just yeah. it's just another like five ten bucks out of my wallet. That know, you that just, you don't that you can spend somewhere else. I can Logan, buy a cheeseburger. No, <laughs> our, our producer Logan on Stream Economy, we were are literally arguing about this this all last week, <laughs> arguing about TV subscription services, and he's like. At this point, is now as expensive or more than having cable. I know that's true, but but yeah. cable commercials and mm. no, that mm. I don't no, I'm, I don't I don't argue with mm. you. And also for me, I'm like it's it's not for me well, and because you know I've what? learned to pare it down. Also, we're not talking about a huge thing that I'm sure it's probably important to you, Stephen. Not not as much for me and Lexi. I know this much. Live sports. Well, sports. Okay. So I need sports. sports. Okay, yes. so that's the thing. Sports is such a big thing for many, Apple many people. Apple will not have this. And, well, yeah, that's the thing. So we've, we've seen uh, we've seen stories come out. Uh, I think that we think there was there was a Sports Illustrated feature on going inside sort of the Apple Sports Jewelry. Mm -hmm. It wasn't about working on actually streaming live games. It was more like a a way to kind of curate results and actually deliver those sorts of things as potentially alerts to you as a viewer when you're on Apple TV or maybe just on your iPhone. So here's something interesting. Yesterday, uh, I've appeared on my iPhone. I have pretty much never opened the Apple News app on my phone and I have never gotten an alert from it. Yesterday, I got hmm. an alert for the first time really? about the Mueller that investigation. Is, yeah. And that was huh. the first time that I have got an alert from that app. And yes, I have notifications I turned on. But every I, day from them. I get really? stuff every day yeah. from them. I yeah. get like never. the big, one big news story a day from Me them. Me too. I get, like I, get, really? no, I, get, I get like five a day. I don't know oh, why. Maybe, but maybe because I've, I've, I have too many topics. Maybe. It's the app. 
I never use the Apple I do News use app, the app, so that's potentially why. I use why. it on the watch all the time. Okay, well, I don't wow, use it on really? the watch yeah. or on the phone at all. So I was genuine. I was thinking, well, I am on the iOS 12.2 beta. Is there two sentences? So maybe that's some, if that's a clue of what's coming. I don't know. I, th- yeah. I was thinking maybe I'd get some this, clues. This is really interesting, and I maybe agree with this to a very large extent. On Twitter, Ethan Culp says, I would rather see aggregation based on your habits across streaming services. Mm. Oh, that's so great. Yeah. Show me, yes. so if, if he watches sci-fi like The Expanse from Amazon and Cloverfield from Netflix, Fantasy from HBO and Hulu, and then queue up something for my Plex server. So basically he's like, I want Apple to look at everything I watch across yeah. services on Apple TV and then say, hey, if you really like The Expanse, can we interest you in this show, Battlestar yeah. Galactica? It's streaming on Netflix or, you mm-hmm, know, wherever mm-hmm. it's streaming, Hulu. Yeah. And that's, uh, that would be amazing. And that's, and that's what you were talking about with the sports, too. Maybe Apple's strength over here is not necessarily the content itself, but the ability but the to data. read. Yeah, the data to read consumers and tell you what you want, which is so valuable. Please tell me what I want, Apple. I don't want to think. <laughs> I totally I agree, but think. it's so valuable to those services themselves. Mm-hmm. Why would Netflix actively Relinquish hand that, over yeah. that data? Relinquish, because yeah. for them, that's incredibly but important. But they don't, it's not that but much data. They only data. care about what you're watching in their app. Right. Not what, not what you're watching across other apps. And how you're watching. Because we saw with the Bandersnatch episode of Black Mirror, there was a lot of data that came. Someone did a, a request through GDPR to get all of the data that was basically, um, re- you know, requested of Netflix. And they requested that information back to see what was collected. It was a lot of interesting details mm-hmm. about your watching habits and the way you chose the path through that mm-hmm. interactive show. How long show. it took you to choose how the long, path. Yeah, like exactly. Was, and uh, what was the detailed. outcome that you wanted to go for. Yeah. So that data is incredible. Valuable. I mean, that's sort of a, a side discussion that's a little bit more granular than mm-hmm. what we're talking about, just like what you're watching. But I still think it's incredibly valuable. So before this event starts, I'm going to go with one more tweet from Game Face, Patrick Rash, um, who's a delight, by the way. Hi, Patrick. Um, mm-hmm. The power of Reese Witherspoon is strong. I'll find a way. <laughs> oh, oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, He's already signed on. Just, He's in. Just Reese Witherspoon alone. Just like sign But, but again, that's up. like that one yeah, show, exactly. that one that's celebrity one, that's is, all it takes. could be enough for that's somebody to sign well, up. Well, and especially if Oprah. they are going to offer that three-month subscription service. I remember when Apple Music first came out, and I, you know, you, you already have the uh, app populated on your phone. I was like, you know what? Sure, why not? And then I kept it for eight months longer than I thought because I yep. had you forgot art. about it. I forgot that's about why. it. That's and the that's, problem. You know, that's, how you. that's how they get you. And that at that point, so I mean, and and they have so many pe- so many of their devices that they're going to be able to populate this on and offer these people three months worth of free content, and that might be enough. Okay, the lights are apparently going down at the Apple Theater, so I think something is about to start. So uh, let's discuss about how this is going to happen. So we cannot restream the Apple Live event. So if you're watching this now and expecting to see the actual Apple Live stream, it's not going to happen. You're going to have to go over to the Apple site and stream it there, but keep us open in another window. Keep both of us open. Keep us open and come back and forth as things get a little bit boring, as the trailer comes on that you don't want to (laughs) watch, definitely come o- come back over and get on that hashtag. We'll keep answering your questions throughout and follow along with the live blog. You can see the URL down here. I can't point very well. There you go. Live.cnet.com. So in previous years, we've found that our reporters inside doing the live blog have actually had the information ahead of the live stream itself. So it's always what happens at least a minute or two ahead. And the hear lights are first. down. You'll hear it here first. So keep us open. And if you want to watch the Apple stream, go to the Apple site at apple.com, but keep us open in another window. The lights are going down. We are apparently just starting with an ad that is a <laughs> kind of a trailer starring oh, Macintosh. Production. Oh, how very cute. Okay, so I'm going to uh, tap out a little bit, guys, because I'm going to keep track on the um, li- well. live stream. Sorry. But I will be interjecting here and there just to tell you guys uh, – about these trailers. Any memorable <laughs> moments or celebrity spottings, celebrity Vanessa spotting. will come back and let us know. But for the meantime, Ashley and I are going to run through the live blog and talk through it, give our thoughts. And, you know, what's happening. Th- and of course, your microphone's going to die. Intro. So let's have you move over to Vanessa's microphone. Yeah. 
There you go. Hey, there we go. Hey-o. I have now three microphones in front of me. <laughs> testing. Oh, wow. This Crushing is, it. Woo. Well, this is this is something. And all I right. will fix all this after the show. Keeping My bad. it. Woohoo. All right. Keeping there it real go. here. This, that's how go. you know it's live because things go wrong and things break. <laughs> things break. <laughs> so that's always what happens. All right. So I'm watching it in another window as well. And it has a, is this cute little animation shot on iPhone. It's kind of referencing the old uh, iPod ads with that kind of color motif. And Tim Cook is taking to the stage. I mean, this whole like Hollywood thing. You think that very Austin Powers? It it is actually very. it is. And I was gonna say very Ocean's Eleven. Yeah, that too. I think we've definitely confirmed something Apple Pay and Wallet is coming because one of the executive producers on this production of the intro was the uh, Apple Pay Wallet, the Apple Wallet itself. So there we go. All right, Tim Cook is on the stage saying, as you can tell. Today is going to be a very different kind of event. If you want to follow along exactly with what I'm reading, you can go to I the I think I just blog. saw Chris Jenner in the audience. You did? Not even joking. Oh, like, I think they just got to Chris Jenner. I'm not sure. There we go. She's going to have her own show. I'm going to be so mad. That's gonna. That'll be a. <laughs> is that going to be? That'll a be no though? times a hundred for me. <laughs> I'm going to be like, you hired a Kardashian. I am so, out. I was so good. I wasn't. I wasn't off the mark when I said, did you see a Kardashian? I know. Yes, you know. I you think go. it was Chris Jenner. I think it was. Okay, and Tim's on the stage. Understated dress. They're talking about boys. services in action. Ah, for decades, Apple's been creating world class hardware and software, and also world class services. And this is just Tim's baby, isn't it? It really is. All the services, you know, Apple Watch and services and supply chain, as you mentioned, Ashley. That's like, like all that. of all of Tim's strong strong stuff there. <laughs> and now he's apparently defining. What service means? <laughs> well, you know, well, they gotta fill the that. time. Yeah, they gotta fill the that's time. A good point. You know? I mean, maybe this is gonna be interesting to see, like how Apple addresses this, because you know, as we've been saying, this is an incredibly, this is a totally different industry they're getting into. They're getting uh-huh. into Hollywood, and to not actually have the experience in giving a presentation like and this to Hollywood, this is like an Johnny Ive is there. Johnny Ive is He's there. in the audience. He's in. Okay. But are we going to get him talking about aluminium finishes? Ugh. No. He's not looking dreadful. That's good. <laughs> oh, no. Defining I, services. So mm. I'm getting a little bit of a, like, there's just a very slight flashback, too, because they're talking about services, hardware, software. Um, it just it slightly reminiscent of the original iPhone keynote where Steve was like, it's an internet. It's a communicator. It's an internet device. It's a, right. It's an iPod. Um, it's three things like I like, so I, I kind of, I kind of dig that. I like the little echo to the echo to the past there. I feel like they're doing a lot of those throwbacks recently. And at the same time, they're trying to break new ground with, mm-hmm. with you know, Tim being very, I remember trying last to play year, on that nostalgia. Yeah. I mean, though, remember last year with the whole Tim, uh, Tim Cook's false tweet mm-hmm. when everyone, and when he was like fake he tweeted, faked us out. he faked us out and we all got excited and all got nervous. And then it was like, oh yeah, it was a marketing stunt. Of course. Well done. Oh, well done, my Tim. coffee's cold now. This is sad. Oh, that's what Apple needs to do next. You know, forget the streaming. I got to get one of those mugs Eat that it. just constantly keeps me. The ones I, I forget about it. The ones that stir the coffee are the most crazy yeah, like ones. That. You know, the that's automatics, nice. there's like a little it's vortex in there. It's like magic. Siri's the most popular person in the world. He just said Siri is the most popular personal assistant in the world um that's that is is that is he is it though well how do you define popular do you define in terms of giving you results like cheerleaders in high school popular or or it's just on a massive number of devices he didn't give a number no most popular well most popular is in it's available to us and we don't use it well here's something here here is maybe maybe my the definition of uh, popular that he is working on is that it's the one that people associate first with voice assistants. They oh, I say, disagree with that too. You think? Alexa. Sorry oh, for, tri- I th- I sorry for triggering what? everybody's I th- devices. <laughs> sorry. I think maybe in America, but I think if you go elsewhere in the world, Siri is synonymous. Maybe. In many um, ways. Well, at least because well, it's, it's available on device. I thought like, yeah. No, yeah. I see where you're coming from, but I, th- I think for me, most people I would talk to in my Australian cohort would probably say Siri. Okay. Yeah. Fair. All right, so they're running through, basically Tim is running through all of the products and services, Apple Music, podcasts, books. It's a bit of a laundry list of everything that they do, essentially. And then he's called out Apple Music specifically saying that it was a late entry to the market. And it's interesting that he's actually admitted that, yes, it was a late entrant. 
Um, but it quickly flew to second place in number of subscribers behind Spotify. So that was interesting because I thought there was a, a study that actually came out uh, I don't, it wasn't official numbers because I don't think they release official numbers, but it said that Apple Music did surpass Spotify. So perhaps this is. Correct. You're, you're totally right. Yeah. yeah, it did happen. That so, happened uh, like last year. Or yeah, something, but, now, uh, but now it so sounds like they're back to number two. So uh, we'd have to check on those numbers there. What if Apple spent a billion dollars on original content that was required to only be shot on iPhones? Oh, I like that. <laughs> oh, like, I like okay, that. Okay, Oprah. Here's an iPhone XS Max. Go make a show or a movie. But okay, because a billion dollars would buy a lot of that type of content. <laughs> but would it be watchable content? If you get, I okay. mean, there are some really good iPhone movies out no, there. No, no, yeah. I'm not saying that. I'm but just yeah, saying no, it'd be, it'd be terrible. It'd be a terrible <laughs> idea. That's why I don't work at Apple. It's a terrible idea. <laughs> All right, they're getting into Apple news now. Uh, when talking about launching it over three years ago. It was the best way to read news, he says. Um, and then last year, obviously, Apple bought Texture, which was that service that bundled a bunch of magazines and news the subscriptions Netflix for together. Magazines, yeah. Exactly. And so that's obviously going to be a big part of how the new Apple News is, is shaped. And, you know, if they I'd love to see them move into uh, newsletters also, like bundle in some newsletters, because I subscribe to a lot of newsletters. Like email like newsletters, ups, right? Of yeah. news, or yeah. like, and just you know, like there are some interesting people that have good newsletters, and so I'd love to have that ability for these people who make really popular newsletters to like maybe get into this service. I wonder if they'll open that up. That's an interesting point. I didn't think about newsletters. I haven't thought about reading a newsletter in a long time, but maybe it's because I haven't found the right one. But if you gave right it to ones, me in a in a yeah service, that's, that's a good like digest. This, yeah. I would love that. I think that's the the thing that they were trying to do with Apple News, and I don't know necessarily if it succeeded so far. So it's official. Magazines to Apple News. All right. Magazines is now... It's official. It's official. It's official. I don't know why, but the Twitter stream of this live stream is way far ahead of every other stream, even the is one it? on Apple.com. There you go. <laughs> it's like about 30 seconds ahead. How did, the, how did that happen? No idea. There we go. Oh, man. I can finally read about Justin and Haley Bieber oh, on my, my iPad. Is that, what is a miracle. that official? Is the, they both changed their last name to Bieber. Yeah, she, I think she did. There you go. All right. We're just seeing Tim now still talking about about everything news and magazines shuffling through all these very popular magazines you got new yorker sports illustrated vogue fortune lots of stuff just pretty cool so here's the thing i i find really really interesting about reading digital versions of magazines i am such i i'm very much like i love the tactile experience of magazines it has Jade a name news Plus, New is Apple the name. News Plus. Well, a lot of symbols happening here. There are interesting though that they've gone for the it's plus Apple symbol News. because yeah. they haven't normally gone for the plus symbol, have they? With products, it's normally been plus the word. Interesting yeah. that they cribbed Disney on that one. Mm. News They're plus, trying to get ahead of TV the curve. Plus. Because Disney Plus hasn't even launched yet. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to get there. Well, maybe there'll be a plus fight in the courts. <laughs> Is that bad SEO to have a plus sign? You know, yes. that's like a good how, question. It's like, how do you search? I guess they don't care because the thing is yeah. you're not searching for that on a browser. That's the thing. It's just on your Apple TV or on your device. So, so it's, it's hashtag Apple and then news and then plus? Yeah. Like, or I'm sorry, not hashtag. Emoji, emoji Apple. Emoji Apple. <laughs> news plus? Yeah. I don't even. Does Twitter even recognize the plus symbol know. as part of a hashtag so. i don't think it does well, and then you have the apple too to make matters yeah, worse yeah. <laughs> well apple they always use i mean that's the thing are you going to be searching you're not going to be searching not be searching for the emojis uh okay yeah as you're saying like there are many other services that are using that plus symbology mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. one just died recently google mm -hmm. plus, yeah. google oh, plus. Oh, oh, rest pouring, in peace. Out, pouring out for google plus i'm sorry i mean threes I, of people are crying out I just, I just don't. Well, actually, a lot of people say that yes, there were only three people using Google Plus. Actually, a, a lot of photographers were using Google Plus. A lot. I had like thousands and thousands. of Was that like the refuge from Flickr once it got bought by? Yeah, it was kind of that, and it was kind mm. of a good way to kind of just workshop images and share mm. images around. And so I felt like the photography community on Google Plus was like I was great. Uh, no complaints about that. I don't know where they're going to go now. Pouring, pouring one out for Google Plus, but now News Plus is. News Plus is there. And now it looks like they're playing uh, a video feature 
with a bunch of different journalists and photographers to promote the service. I'm just watching service. this, watching this ha- Ash- Apple event hashtag. I just love some of the reactions. <laughs> so speaking of Google+, Plus, uh, Chen Mingyi says, so Google+, Plus went away, and now we have Apple News+. Plus." <laughs> <laughs> What's up with the word plus? What the hell? They introduced plus in software services now. Loved, loved the woman at the hashtag Apple event who, while clapping along with everyone else, rolled her eyes and mouthed, wow. Uh, <laughs> obviously not an Apple employee then. <laughs> yeah. Or else she's fired. Um, I just, yeah, this is, uh, I like that they made a trailer for this as they do with everything else. Like, cool. Again, though, not starting with something that is particularly, I mean, like, I think that I, I'm interested to know the subset of users that are, I, is there more money in the news business and the magazine business or the streaming and entertainment business? Streaming and entertainment. Right, right. That's what Hands I'm down. thinking. Yeah. So, I mean, is this something that people are going to get excited about as a way to serve as serve their news needs? And is it going to be available on enough platforms? Well, only Apple, I'm expecting. And how much does it cost? Yeah. How much? Give me, give me a price. Give me a price. Uh, I want to hear a price. But, but to be fair, this might be a really good – because, okay, so where Apple needs the entertainment industry, the print industry needs somebody like Apple. Mm-hmm. And I think that this would be a really nice way for um, Apple and, – and also if we see other services similar to this in the future to really kind of boost the magazine industry yeah. again. Um. Because the thing is, is like, yeah, we have been seeing a decline in in subscribers to print journalism, subscribers to digital journalism. Um, so this is a really good way to sort of aggregate that um, in such a way that makes it easy to consume for people, easy to access, um, easy to pay for, uh, because you're not paying for multiple services. My concern would be also that it might cannibalize itself because somebody with a subscription might say, oh, why am I going to, I'm not going to because I can now get it on Apple News Plus alongside my subscription to my People Your magazine, whatever, not, ge- not geographic uh-huh. or whatever. And it might actually cannibalize the few people who were actually yeah. paying for that but subscription. But on the flip side of that, you think about the people who are like, oh, well, I have the New Yorker, but now I get to subscribe to even more stuff and I'm willing to pay a little extra money to be able to do that. Right. If you have 10 of those people for every one person who says... I'm just going to, I only true, subscribe true. to one thing, then then it really still doubt, beneficial. Yeah. It's still beneficial. What I like to cool. see as well is obviously, you know. That with, is a sick jumpsuit, my friend. Oh, wow. That is something. That's something else. I like seeing not executive fashion on stage. <laughs> and so this is, I'm like, I'm interested. Cool. This it is, looks cool. This is cool. This is, I think this is Wyatt Mitchell, Apple's director of design for applications. Wait. He's running us through the app. Yes, because this uh, this is a it's a fastest. Well, the Twitter stream is the fastest one. There you it's, it's crazy. There you go. I love these live covers, which we we saw time really kind of run with last year in yeah. Twitter. Um, they had a lot of like really cool gifs for or videos of like how the cover kind of came together. So that's that's really neat. It's a really interesting interactive way to sort of look at a magazine, which is really cool. Well, this is the the point I was going to bring up earlier is like. We are so used to seeing, you know, magazines and digital just simply as a translation of the print a PDF. Edition. Yeah, as a yeah. PDF. So actually having a real compelling reason to go, It has okay, to be I'm more. Not, it has to be more. Exactly right. And so, yes, a nice animated cover that's slightly interactive is is one thing. But what mm-hmm. else is there? Because that is li- like, that's the one thing that will oh, keep me there for five seconds. Yeah. But what is actually going to keep me retained into the actual magazine itself once I start reading? Why wouldn't I just want to pick up the print version? I'm going to use CNET Magazine as an example for this. Uh, I really love the idea of CNET Magazine. We, we do a lot of our cover story. We have like a star on the cover. So be- previously we'd have done David Harbour, right? So it'd be really cool to be able to open that magazine article and read that feature about David Harbour and his upcoming role in Hellboy and Stranger Things 3. And then inside that magazine article, tap on a video that's an interview with him. Like that's, it's like visiting the website, but not quite because you're not inundated with banner ads and overlays and all the other stuff that people hate about the internet. Like it would be really cool to be able to do something like that and have that paid experience that's curated where you know, we see a lot of people use ad blockers. You know, this is a way around that. And so it's a way to get this kind of beautiful experience um, and just focus on the content, yeah, which I like. Experience. Yeah, uninterrupted experience. And that is why they charge a premium. That's or right. Or most likely will charge a premium. But I'm a person because... who's like, I will pay a premium. Yeah. 
if I can get away from that experience. Like, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like old internet web experiences. Like, not fun. It's not, it's distracting. Even, even mobile web experience is yeah. distracting. It's very, very distracting. distracting. All right. So still running through the look and feel of News Plus. I mean, they were talking about interactive covers. I think they just showed a demo of that just on stage now, or at least running through the app itself. Uh, I what I am I'm just seeing a couple of screenshots and a couple of walkthroughs here. It looks I, I'm enjoying the consistency of it. I think that is something that Apple really excels at when it mm-hmm. comes to its services is the consistent look and feel even between content that is delivered from different people. Like Apple Music, for example, you know it's a it's a love it or hate. They have it gotten thing. better at that a lot better because Apple before Music it was initially. very disjointed. Ugh, Apple Music all the anthropomorph, so, like, yeah. all this weird like it was ugh. yeah it just it just wasn't there and. Uh, this looks a lot more consistent and it looks more a lot more clean, which also, is nice. Well, also they're they're saying a lot of what you had brought to our attention, Lexi, which is the curation part of it. Um, apparently, one of the big perks of this magazine, or d- looking at your magazines on the Apple News Plus app, is that it does have that element of curation, bringing to light articles that are maybe of interest of, for you that might not have been from a, a publication that you would normally seek out Mm -hmm. based on searches or things that you have already clicked on which so here's nice here's the thing google already does that when you just based on your search history what and everything that you're looking for for magazine but it does well it does if you're looking if those magazine articles are published as articles on websites if you look at the google home feed on your google app it will show you pretty much even in chrome on on the iphone now if you go and just open if you're in chrome you open a new tab and it can give it gives you that Google stream of articles that may be of interest to you. Mm-hmm. And the more you use it, the more it knows about you, of course, and the more likely it is to give you recommendations that are appropriate. So, yeah, Vanessa, I agree. I, I think that it's actually they're starting to do something similar, but I think they have a lot less data to work with than Google does, given mm-hmm. especially Apple's big push on making sure that stuff stays on your device. It becomes right. disambiguated from the user. Yeah. And... It's going to be interesting to see how they actually work with that, how that is going to be part of the play. Is, is privacy and working out what you want to read and what you want to watch, is that going to be something that they're going to talk about? I or? just saw the CDET magazine, by the way. Oh, did we get a mention? Yeah, we did. I mean, they, they during the scroll. During the scroll, we got the magazine. We saw a there, little, I saw nice. the CNET magazine. You heard it here first. CNET, yes. magazine. CNET magazine on Apple, <laughs> Apple News Plus. Yeah, Apple one Plus. of the, I think. The, the one that you were talking about, the issue that you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, the nice. coverage. Yeah. Yeah. 300 story magazine. In there. Nice. Well done. Shameless plug. Read Vanessa's story <laughs> in the magazine on Apple News Plus. There you go. So there are 300 titles, it looks like. And they're now running through a couple of the other names there. LA Times. The highlight by Vox, and Vox was one of those partners that was leaked, I think, at the end of last week, Vulture and the Wall Street Journal, which was reported earlier as well. And just still talking about personalization now on the stream. And if you're just joining us, we are watching the Apple event live. We are not allowed to stream the event. You can watch that stream separately on Twitter or Apple.com, but we are talking through the event. We will have the news... Probably ahead of the stream because our live blog is generally a little bit faster than the stream. And you can always tweet us questions during the show on the hashtag CNET live. We'll be checking in, answering your questions. If you want to come over and, you know, join us and we're a little bit more fun than the official stream, let's be honest. So more exciting things happening here. But we'll see. This is really interesting. The advertising thing. Also interesting side note, news, uh, the New York Times, who was uh, rumor to be in talks with them apparently did not they make were not it. announced as a major no, no. partner yeah or the Washington Post. yeah like it's like la times, LA times yeah. wall, street wall street journal yes no new york times no wall no washington post probably because of that. yeah which is jeff like, bezos was not gonna have yeah, that like, no, guarantee like, so here's here's actually what we were referencing before about the privacy. Apple apparently is using on-device intelligence, is what they call it, to make recommendations for you. It doesn't know what you read, and it doesn't allow advertisers to track you. And what you read about in Apple News will not follow you across the web, yeah. unlike on other services such as yeah. such as Google. No, uh, yeah, because if you're, I mean, if you're That's just using cute. the internet, you're getting tracked via cookie. I would so pay for that. Ten bucks a month. I would pay for that. Ten bucks a month. Family sharing. They got family sharing in there. 
So no extra charge for family sharing, unlike Apple Music, where you have to pay a little bit more, um, which is good. That's great. All right. So still talking about family sharing. And so, okay, here's the interesting. So Shara on the live blog has just done the, uh, the, the math for us and said, well, I think they actually said it during the stream. If you subscribe mm -hmm. to all of these individually, it would cost you $800 a 8, year. $8,000. $8,000. Oh, $8, okay, so there was a typo there. $8, and it's available right now. $9.99. $9.99. $9.99. All right. So $10 a month. Streaming service for video, maybe $10 a month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bundled together, what, $15.99? $1 billion. <laughs> $1 billion. <laughs> the what... If Tim Cook walks out at the end and says, oh, and the one more thing is the $9.99 covers all of it, <gasps> people would lose it. Whoa. People would lose their minds. Yes. There you go. Maybe it could happen. You never know. Take note, Tim Cook. Tim You're Apple. welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So if you want to get this, you just have to download the newest iOS and Mac OS update. And the first month is free. So it's only one month rather than three months. They should months. have done three. Three months was, it was kind of the litmus test for Apple Music. And yeah. let's see if it actually. Although to be fair, I mean, three months of a lot of magazine subscriptions is a lot of money they would have to no, pay absolutely. all of those. So I, yeah. I get it. Yeah, because Apple Music was theirs. Yeah. So they didn't have to pay anybody. Else. Right. Well, you had to pay rights, uh, so, you know. Yeah, you, you had to pay, pay royalties, royalties to the artists. But, so. you know, states in Canada, though. For now. Oh, uh, you know, forgetting about the rest of the world again. All right. Both in English yeah, and French. Yeah, people are mad. Is, yeah. It's, it's I mean, only U.S. and Canada for yeah. now. I mean, okay, Australia and Europe later in the year, and then mm -hmm. the U.K. will be first. Okay, yes, it makes sense. The markets are very, very big, but why I'd imagine local this out localization world? becomes an issue? Um, in English-speaking and French-speaking countries, maybe it's not so much of an issue. But right. in, mm -hmm. in other mm -hmm. regions of the world, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think, though, especially in Australia – the desire for U.S. magazines is incredibly mm -hmm. high. It, at yeah. NewsAge, I'm sure in El Salvador, it's exactly the same. The desire for U.S.-based magazines is incredibly high. We even have people, like, they fly over editions of magazines, U.S., and they have a big stamp on it that says, U.S. edition, twice mm -hmm. the price, because it's so desired. Like the September issue That's of Vogue, interesting. for example. So highly coveted. So maybe it's important localization, but maybe it's not as important as they might think it is. Mm -hmm. Because I... I know if I was given the choice to read the Australian Vogue or the American Vogue, I would read the American Vogue if right. that was what I was into. That's just saying just given the level of access there. I mean, that being said, I haven't read the Australian version of Vogue very closely ever. So <laughs> so we've moved on to Apple Pay. All right. I'm expecting some and big And Tim's going to send us all some money. That's what's happening, right? Thanks. Everybody is a, yeah, you we know, have a big mountain of cash to sit on. So you're all going to start with $200. Like, hey. that would be, oh, come there on. We go. Again, what a great idea, Tim. You should be listening to this live stream. <laughs> uh, okay. In the U.S., they were running through the acceptance rates now of Apple Pay. In the U.S., it's 70%. That's a lot higher than I thought. There are so many places I go that don't have NSC mm -hmm. payments. So many places. Yeah. But I will tell you. And we live in San Francisco. We live yeah, in the, the biggest yeah. tech hub in the country. The, and but the not. moments where you maybe forgot your bag or you forget your, and then you just happen to have your phone with you, you're like, oh my God, I can pay for this. Like, I know. I, I have done that more times than I can count. So, so good. Does it get a challenge? It, it never goes yeah. smoothly though. There's always like a little troubleshooting little really? thing happening. I yeah. find, in, well, the only thing issue that I actually have trouble with with Apple Pay is through Face ID is because actually making sure Touch ID is way faster to do Apple It's so much easier. Through. Well, because so it's like you easier. don't have to put the phone at your face so it can see you and then put the phone. It's like just, ugh. All right, here's <laughs> here's something actually that I'm excited about because I'm a geek and I use I travel on the bus every day and mm -hmm. I just want to use my phone to tap on the reader. I don't want to have to carry a separate card. Okay, mm -hmm. Apple Pay and Transit is coming to the U.S. Finally, I think there were a couple of trials Elsewhere in the world, Portland is going to be the first. Lucky nice. Portland. Chicago and New York later in the year, which is pretty big. Where is San Francisco? What's, on yeah, that what's list? up with San Francisco? Come on, on. Well, come on, Clipper. You guys are in Cupertino. What is, come on, guys. You're right yeah, here. Let's go, Clipper. Pal train, something. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah I'm where tired of pulling my wallet out of my backpack. Yeah, I mean, this is a no brainer. Why is, you know, well, this is a very low tech town, you guys. <laughs> it's not a lot I mean, of technology like, here. So yeah, it's I mean, it's going to take a while. Yeah, like, mm. All right. So oh, here we go. It's a credit card. Here's the credit card. It's happening. An application that is simple, no fees, et cetera, et cetera. But that's what they all say. 
L- have you done a credit card application recently, anybody? Because that's exactly what they all say. They say no fees. Yeah. Low, Low interest, interest rates. rates. Simple Apple applications. Card. Oh, it's the Apple Card, guys. Yeah. It's official. Okay, so the rewards program is going to be interesting. I want to see yeah. what that's about because I am a big yeah. credit card geek when it comes can... to maximizing my points. So and I'm a big I spender. Like travel <laughs> I like to spend money. So yeah. what are you going to give me for spending money on your credit card? That's what I want to know. That's... I got a venture card right now. That's it. You get to travel miles. Mm-hmm. But you get like iTunes credits or something. I, I'd yeah. be down. What for if that. you have? What really? if you have an Apple Card? You get access to Apple News, Apple Music, everything for free. That, that's a good proposition, right? Included there. in your cool. annual yeah. fee. Yeah, yeah. That would be something it's, that that's an incentive. People would like. Is it enough though? If it's not a travel b- b- a bonus, because I know a lot of people use that. I mean, especially. Oh, I with, yeah, I mean, a lot of, you know, obviously, like, you know, millennials, I, as, as reluctant as I am to use that term, are using cards like the Chase Sapphire, which mm-hmm. is incredibly mm-hmm. popular. And the yeah. rewards program on that is really ridiculous. A lot of other Hashtag banks Apple cards, card. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of other p- banks have had to actually really step up their game to try and compete with that market in the banking space. So I'm interested to see how this works because sign up on the iPhone. They say start right away. See, This is you what get we, were, it in we, minutes. Were, we were talking about this. This is, this is good. If it's a seamless, you were talking just about this. Boop. Actually, you had it spun on because I think you were saying, you know, it's just on your phone. Use you your sign phone. up and boom, it's yeah. there. It's, you don't have to wait for a physical card. I mean, you can maybe, will they have a physical card? You can probably maybe request one if that's you want good, one. Yeah. That's a good point. It's also on the other Apple devices, obviously. If you use Apple Pay, you know, you can use it on the phone. You can use it on the Mac. It's kind of a different thing on the Mac, but you can still use it across devices. Or even the iPad, right? You can tap and pay with your get Get out. (laughs) If I see anybody using an Apple credit card on the The iPad, iPad. we're not friends. Look, it's the same. We are not friends. It's the same people that were taking photos on the iPad. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. I don't. I did not. And have then any go outside and take some pictures with it. Why don't you? <laughs> exactly. I like this. I like this where you can text the credit card, say things like, can you update my address? And it says, yeah, yeah, I can help you with that. I love that. I love virtual yeah. assistants where you can like send some keywords and actually just get stuff done with having to talk to a human being. That's, Maybe that yeah. speaks to my Maybe that just speaks to my personality. You are not alone in that respect because this most. But it's the simplest thing. Yeah, it should just be. I don't need to talk to somebody for this. Just let me change it. So this is basically Apple moving into bots. Yeah, really, essentially. And we've seen a lot of other finance apps and card apps do something similar. A lot of banks have now moved into having a virtual assistant in their bank apps as well. And so I think this is just Apple going, hey, we can do it more seamlessly. Yeah. And uh, I really uh, like uh. this where they show you your statement and it's a disaster. But with Apple, they're like, we're going to use GPS machine learning to tell you exactly what store you were in when you spent that money. God, this is just a treasure trove of data <laughs> oh, for them. So much. Totally. So I mean, much. thank you for not sharing it with other yeah. you know, third parties. Like, thank you, Apple. But also, wow, this is a real... This is a gold mine for them. Again, no, such a low-hanging fruit. Why so, have they not did this? I know. Barclays card, who needed that? Years ago on the Apple website, like, just launch like this. Lesser media companies have tried. <laughs> yeah. But Apple just seems, yeah, it just seems like a no-brainer. Just watch Google Pay try and hook up with a bank now. It's going to happen. Okay, you can keep track of your spending as well and see how like you're tracking. Again, a feature that is, you know, on many other cards and banks, but having it all in one place is potentially going to be easier. I'm going to be interested in seeing how they're going to talk about security. Obviously, with uh, an NFC transaction, you have a tokenized number. So it's actually potentially if you get a physical card, it's going to be two separate numbers. So she's and saying your cash back, you're going to get da- every day. What? So whatever you it's spend, you get cash okay. back that day. Immediately. Is it, Immediately. Is it 1%? Is it well, 1%? Let's, well, we're going to find standard. out. I don't I, know. See, that, 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 I'm ready. I love that you're an optimizer. This is great. I am this such an, I am the biggest life hacker when it comes to credit cards I love and it. financial statements. You're like, That's like my jam. <laughs> I love doing this stuff. And I'm that, like, how many points can I use and maximize? I get free flights a lot. It's almost like, like they're gamifying it a little bit. Like if I spend this, I'm going to get this much money. Well, I think for people like me who have already gamified <laughs> okay. it. This so is just interesting. I like this. insane. Okay. So Lexi, your daily cash does not get refunded to your credit credit card it gets added to your apple cash card no oh. no i don't want that yeah 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 no, that's not real money though. no it's not real but money can, it says that they make it very easy you can just pay down your balance like you just yeah but okay throw this, it on here's your card. the thing but they you, don't want you to yeah, automatically you to pay, pay down the your card balance. down why they, would they want that they don't two percent daily they don't, cash two percent okay that's actually a lot more that than lot. other other cards a lot 2% of other cards, is very it's competitive decent. one that's a decent amount is fairly standard like bank of america and other banks have one some of the really high level ones are three 
that three, you have to pay an annual yes rate for or three percent for different certain categories, not necessarily right. gas, blanket groceries. Yes, yes those yeah. sort of ones. And now you can sometimes. For oh, some okay. Well, here choose. you go. If you spend uh, purchases directly from Apple, three percent. There's your there's your That's bonus. Your oh, there's there your you bonus. Go. How many iPhones am I going to be buying a year with well, my Apple card? At least let's be, two. Let's be honest. Yeah. yeah. Let's be honest. All right. But they said even Apple News Plus services. You services, get that three percent back on. Okay. So well, if you buy you a lot this of is an apps and stuff, there you go. It is an incentive. Oh, there's Octavia Spencer and Aaron Paul. I saw that. In the I saw a little bit of a splash. There you go. Unlimited daily cash. So it makes all mean? people it means you can spend. Apple loves that slide. Yeah. Unlimited yeah. daily cash with with <laughs> an Apple representative in front of it. Everyday cash for you. How great is this is that? I mean, I appreciate yes, that they're I, trying to simplify credit cards because they are intentionally, she's just said, they're intentionally designed to keep you in mm-hmm. debt, which I agree with, and I like this idea that you're able to just make this very simple and be like I owe the money. Here's my payments. Like, here's all the stuff. Yeah, that's that's helpful to have. Like, you know, the it's app really is a big helpful. deal. They they credit card companies specifically make it difficult and confusing yes. because because they want you to mess up and they want you to pay more. Like at, at the end of the day, they want you to have higher interest rates. They want you to have overdraft. They want you to have all these things so that they can hit you with penalties. And so they're doing this thing now where you can actually schedule more frequent payments. So I guess as you get to the end of the month, you're not slammed with like, oh, hey, I have $4,000 to pay off my credit Mm -hmm. card and I have to pay it as a lump sum. Otherwise, I'm going to get charged interest. So here you go. There are no, apparently no no late fees. No fees. No annual fees. Like that. That's A+. The late fees is a good, is actually a really interesting one because I know a lot of banks actually trip you up here because if you pay on the due date, in many instances, it doesn't clear in time. Yes. So then you get Mm -hmm. charged a late fee. If that happens, no international fees, that's good, but there's no, that's pretty standard amongst most, you know, most big credit cards these days and no over limit fees either. I wonder what the cash APR is because I'm a nerd and I want to know all these things. Um, it's going to so be I'm high. Sure you know, it's going to be It's going to be real high. I, I'm going to have to go and look into this because it, this is appealing. Well, they're I saying mean, it's the low, it's lower from than most people. A standard APR for somebody who maybe has middle range credit would be about, 20 to 26 percent which is really high is, so they're yeah. saying they're it's gonna be lower partnering than with goldman sachs um it'll be interesting to see what their maximum apr is that i do is, like yeah. that if you that they won't raise it if you make a late payment mm-hmm. that's great that's good and it's interesting that they did partner with goldman sachs because they are trying to target uh, a younger demographic with many of their products they mm-hmm. have a high interest savings account yeah uh that is a goldman sachs sponsored one it's got a different name though so you kind of have this disambiguation like oh it's this cool other it's not company. really it's apple not really, yeah yeah so now it's just going to be like an apple card it's not really goldman sachs it's like apple but it's not re- so i think it's kind of clever doing that i just wonder if it's going to tie into the other products say if you are already a goldman sachs customer and also what about the credit question What sort of level of credit are you going to have to have to get this credit card? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm curious about. I think it's really interesting that each device has its own card number. Well, that's that's the thing with any... To keep um, it safe. Yeah. So with tokenization, the way that Apple Pay works is that even your regular credit card, it will be tokenized. So the Mm -hmm. number of the card on your phone is different to the physical card that you have. That's just part of the tokenization process. Well, no, it's the, it's the payment token. They generate. It's like Yeah, a, the payment token is but different. But your card but then, number is the same. Like if I were to open wallet on two different iPhones, the card my, number is my the same. Visa card is the card number is the same. But in, I think it's the same. But when they do pay. the transaction. So, but for this, different devices will have different card numbers as well as the token. I'm pretty sure that the card number is, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that the card number in your Apple Pay wallet Oh, the is Apple actually- card. Yeah, no, the pay card is, I think, different per device. But but I'm saying, like, if I add a Visa, yeah. an external Visa to my phone it, and then add it yeah. on an iPad, yeah. it ha- it's, it's the, the same, same card number. Right, because, right, right. I see what you're Because there's a physical yes. card attached yeah, yeah, to that I number. I see what you're saying. Yeah. So, like, Touch ID and Face ID, obviously, authentication for the payment. Mm -hmm. Uh, Apple doesn't know what you bought, where you bought it, or how much you paid for it. But they do on the purposes of being on device to tell you how much you owe. It's just just like a track. Oh, my God. All the mics are breaking. Hi, we can hear you. Hello. (laughs) Why are our microphones breaking? Uh, Oh, they made a physical card, guys. So, it's just like one number. 
uh, you know, it's just like a tracking number, basically. Mm-hmm. It says you made a you made a, a payment here, but we'd have no any information about what it is. There we go. Oh, and there's a video about it. Is this a video? This is the card. This the is card. the physical. Because she said oh. we designed something for people who don't have or who don't have Apple Pay yet, is or who this... don't accept Apple Pay. <laughs> Look at this video. It's very. Is Johnny oh, are Ive these narrating chamfered? This? Are the edges chamfered? Oh, is Johnny Ive narrating how it's carved Johnny out Johnny Ive is going to interview about how he designed know. this card. It's a, it's a beautiful <laughs> card. <laughs> I think Steve Wozniak should be very upset because they totally stole his business card idea. Like if it's made out of metal, because Woz's business card is metal. And it's like oh, laser cool. cut. It's like oh. laser cut, laser engraved. Really nice. There you go. That's the of card. course they have a 30 second video on how they designed the Apple card. Of course they do. Yeah, and it's actually <laughs> it's a course. Mastercard. It's not a, it's not Visa. They partnered with Mastercard. Oh, it's, yeah. not, it's, yep. not no, oh, it's made of titanium, friends. Ooh, of course of it course. is. And I get it in space gray. Oh. Yes, and rose gold. Rose gold. <laughs> yeah. So there's no card number on the card. There's no CVV security code, no expiration date, and no signature. People are going to be so confused yeah. accepting this at a retailer. I am going to have to explain to somebody who did not watch this event. They're going to be like, what is this? Yes, but you are going to get it. (laughs) Yeah, I know. But Ashley already admitted she's going to get it. She's like, I'm going to have to explain this. This is okay. I said, I like to spend money. This is a very, (laughs) this seems like a pretty good deal for me. They're making it easy. This is a direct competitor to the chase sapphire card because the sure. chase sapphire card mm-hmm. is made out mm-hmm. of a metal yep. i don't know if it's it's not titanium i don't i don't think it's titanium but it is it's a hefty, have the heavy it's a like hefty metal card, card. Yeah. So aluminium, a direct compet- aluminium. And aluminium aluminium <laughs> yes i just <laughs> aluminium made, oh, card. i wish that why didn't they get johnny ive to narrate that or did he i didn't obviously can't hear it but i think it's oh, a missed this opportunity summer. available this summer this summer there we go all right tim cook is back on the stage all things card. No CVV security code. I wonder so how that's going to work. How are you going to use that on online transactions? Yeah. That's going to be interesting because are they going to force you to Can't use wait. Apple well, Pay? Well, you have to use Apple Pay. But then You'd the have thing to accept is Apple most Pay. merchants online, uh, when you're they using, don't. say, Safari, don't use Apple Pay. Well, guess Pay. what? But it says They're going to have to get it, The information is going to be in the wallet app. Yeah. The numbers are going to be in that wallet app the for CVV. you. The CVV? Yes. But oh, just not on okay. the physical. Not, right. not on the physical. I see. Gotcha. Gotcha. Is, the re- is there a reason for that? Because when you go to a store and you give them, like, as you were saying, like I said, Ashley, they're going to be like, so they're confused. Gonna not, they're going to think it's a fake, <laughs> especially with an Apple logo on it if they don't know. But yet. you can be like, it's titanium. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the App Store. It's now time for the App Store. Now, what has happened to old, good old iTunes? Can we just, like, think about what's, what's happening with iTunes right now? It's always like Honestly. taking a back step, you know, or a back seat. It is. I'm really sad because, like, I feel like iTunes hasn't got. I mean, I don't enjoy using iTunes because it's such a clunky piece of software, it and sucks. it's always been the same. Yeah. But I really feel like it's time for an overhaul, especially if they're talking about integration with the App Store, which you you know you can still access on iTunes. Mm-hmm. So, like, I mean, I'm sure the percentage of people using it on iTunes is very, very low, but I think it's time that iTunes got a bit of love and attention. It just, yeah, every time they do like some sort of change, you have to like relearn. You have to relearn everything. Mm-hmm. You know, it's yeah. Kind of annoying. Also, we should have made bets on how long this would last. I know. Well, we're at forty Ash- minutes so far. Ashley said an hour. An hour. I said that was ambitious. I thought it was going to be an hour and a half. I'm well, glad I checked out of the hotel this morning because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it'll be an hour, and then I'll nope. just go back to my hotel and check out. No, 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 nope. no. We're just gonna okay, start it. All right. We haven't even talked about streaming service. Wait a. We're on to gaming next. Yep. And now they really know how to pad an event. That mm. is a cool dress. I just, I'd like, I'm impressed. That's dope. Your stream is way faster than the one I have, even though it's the Twitter She's a one. cool lady. Yeah, That's a is. good dress. That's a good the whole look. That. That's a look. I like it. With the boots I'm into and the dress. Yeah. 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 Are they talking She's about Angry it. Birds right now? Of course they're talking about very... Angry Birds. That's the game that you talk about when you're dated. not talking to gamers, right? You right. talk about, like, yeah. hey, Angry Birds. Well, I was, t- I'm, I was so telling you that they were going to... Yeah. Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Fortnite, yeah. it's on iOS. It's free. <laughs> Put it on there. All right. One billion people have downloaded games from the App Store. All, as you said, all Fortnite. <laughs> all free. <laughs> and 90% of them have been Fortnite. Yeah. Words with friends. That took me a while to get off that. I remember that. I had game. to like wean myself off of that. Really? <laughs> yeah, it took me I a got, while. I think I got off that pretty early. I think uh, off I, what? Words with friends. Oh yeah, me too. But no, there's some games that are sticky like that though. That's the thing. Yeah. Three hundred thousand games in the app store. Okay, here are the facts if, and figures. They're talking about Monument Valley two right now, and I just want to say, if you haven't played Monument Valley or Monument Valley two, please get it and pay for it. It's so beautiful. It's so good. It's like. 
Man, what a great game. What a great game. You're selling me on this. It's selling it me is on... literally every frame of that game is designed to look like a work of art. What's it about? Would I, and would I enjoy it? <laughs> yes. Well, so it's very relaxing and um, it's a puzzle game and it's sort of like the most modernized, beautiful version of an MC, an Escher. Oh, so it's like you're pretty. constantly moving like um, Ida around like there's a little mm -hmm. hero and then you move her around and you have to move the map too. there's like little switches and rotates and stuff. Oh, Apple Arcade, everybody is official. <laughs> hey, so, so I'm going to hide in that folder of, of the, all the stuff I never use. I know it's going to go in my Apple I know. folder. What's exactly. I see. call it that my Apple folder with. I, I, things go in and they never come out. Yeah. I have a folder that just says junk. Hey, <laughs> like the, of, the like, junk that you can't stocks. delete. The stocks, old, so yeah, yes. the, before I could delete stocks, yeah. I kept it in that folder. I think I'm, mine's called never use. <laughs> so Apple Arcade, that looks kind of Apple cool. Arcade. Oh, well, that was a really quick. They're moving straight yeah. on to video now. That that was it. They got like... Oh, really? It's they got their mention, two minutes huh? in, the mention, and well, they've got a little promo right. video. I want to know who... Yeah, they got a promo video. I want to know I got who Disney partnered. and Lego are on there. Well, they have... Yeah, they've got like yeah. uh, Lego Mobile and, you know, all that stuff. So... And Disney has ga tons of games. They have the... Mm -hmm. They have a bunch of Marvel games. They have a bunch of Disney games. They have, they have a lot of that stuff. So... Let's see what they let's see who they're partnering with. They had a big list of I'm not sure if that was partners or existing people that were on this store as well. So running through a trailer. This is uh, this is just games to expect on the service. And then there's a voiceover happening with the game devs talking through it. I mean, it's nice that they have these little vignettes, but do they really tell us that much? Am I supposed to get excited about this? I mean, maybe with audio on, maybe I would be. Right now, watching this without audio, I'm just like, looks like you're developing a game. I mean, it, it it's like I'm just seeing some indie games here. Maybe that's the thing. See, I'm not particularly interested about games in general. They're gonna say. have to. They're gonna have to. The one more thing is gonna have to be the whatever the bundle price is yes, for all of it's this. It's gonna have to be because like this on its. I mean, are is anybody? going to sign up for arcade. 40 dollars worth of services yes on no. their own if especially if this one is also 10 dollars yeah. no 10 bucks 10 bucks 10 bucks 10 bucks no because it's like okay apple news plus apple arcade apple music you have apple music yeah. already exists yeah. and then stream apple tv apple plus video, so, yeah. it's called app, apple tv, TV plus. plus i assume Why not? um that makes that's sense 40 dollars a, a month a lot of money that it is, is a lot. That is like that's your, maybe your even too much right for there. Apple. Like too much money even for Apple to charge. Yeah, we thought a thousand dollars for better. a phone was too much though, and the market tolerated it. But this is it, a thing that honest. I I literally take with me all day, every day. Yeah. The amortization on this device works out for me. Yeah. So it's like buying a really good pair of shoes that you wear every day. It's like you pay a little extra. You're wearing them you every day. You, you get, get you're getting your money's worth. Yeah. I spend. You don't even want to know how much time I spend on this phone. My <laughs> weekly average screen, screen time, time is upsetting. <laughs> it's not it's not good. You know, I get excited when I get the screen time alert and it actually says, oh, you've You're used 40% <laughs> less time this week. And I'm like, yes. You're like, that's because I was in a coma for three days. <laughs> <laughs> that's because I had no internet That coma really did me a favor. <laughs> and I did. I used my phone half as uh, half as much. I'm I just off love when Instagram I get... and Facebook, and I still go up in screen time. I don't know how. how. Mine's like, you're down 8% to like 10 hours a day. And I'm like, <laughs> you know what? Maybe I should throw this in the trash. <laughs> What's you the will. sun? You uh, you just wait. You know, a couple months, it'll go down significantly. Just gonna, I'm going to just move to the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> it's all day, every day. Which, I mean, which doesn't track your screen time thankfully thank thanks yeah. nintendo Just, i'll beg them never yeah. track my screen time please actually i mean it tracks the time i spend in games which is yikes mm -hmm. i'm trying to see on, on the apple event hashtag to see kind of like what the consensus is a lot of people are lot mad of... that there's nothing available outside of the u.s yep well nothing. fair enough i mean i feel like the big tech companies need to kind of address the fact that the u.s is not the biggest market anymore. There are many other countries, especially 
you know. I mean, but something like a credit card must be so complicated well, the, to have to to do. The cre- yes and no. I mean, they've managed to do it with Apple Pay. And I know Goldman Sachs isn't necessarily everywhere in the world, but it's a big enough bank that at least they could address the major markets potentially. Mm-hmm. There are obviously a lot of regulatory things to deal with and different countries have different frameworks, but just the US only, I feel like they could have had at least, I mean, maybe I didn't. It's- I didn't see the entire announcement of that. Maybe there was another market, but yeah, I didn't, US I only didn't is, is a shame. I think because Apple Pay launched and it was initially US only, so it makes sense that the card mm-hmm. would be US only just to start. But I would hope that it would branch out, you know, faster. But then again, credit is a very particular US-centric thing. Many I, other markets around the world aren't as big into credit cards as we are here. I like this tweet right here. Pulling out this credit card to pay for stuff is going to be the biggest summer 2019 flex. <laughs> yep, that's <laughs> for real. Pretty right, pretty true. Weird flex. All right. So with the Apple Arcade, you'll be able to play on as we expect, iPhone, iPad, Mac, Cross Apple TV, devices. and every game is playable offline. Well, that's good if you have a long plane ride or something or in in your future but here we go and then no ads that's interesting to me because that's interesting to me be the offline thing because a lot of in-app purchase games a lot of free-to-play games Mm. check against the server to prevent scamming right nintendo i think when they're duping what was it super Super mario Mario, yeah Mm -hmm. yeah that was the big check against the server yeah so I'm curious how they're going to handle those types of games or if they just won't be available on Apple Arcade. Yeah, maybe they won't because it's just for these developers. Sure. There we go. All right. Uh, And they had a little bit of a jab at Google apparently saying, unlike streaming services where you can't play offline. Interesting. Yeah, but I also am not going to be playing Doom Eternal on my iPhone. So (laughs) touche, Apple. You're not trotting out Bethesda or id. So it's every like, every announcement that they've made so far, the privacy has been a big part of the discussion. They've had this section of it dedicated. So, I mean, co- they doesn't collect any data about you or collect any information about how you play games. I mean, of all of these services, the gaming one would be the the one that I would be least worried about my data being revealed to yeah. sure. developers. Like, I don't feel like there's much there that I would necessarily you know uh, my privacy there is not as important as the other service i'm like cool i I showed i played the game great and for five hours you know very confused about this because traditionally game i know gaming is the biggest category in the app store but if you like to play games and you have any other (laughs) device in which to play them on the phone is not your first choice right your phone is definitely not your first choice (laughs) It's always there. Yeah. It's like, you know, but I'm not, I'm just saying I'm not spending a hundred hours plus on my iPhone playing a game the way that I would play Red Dead Redemption 2. Is it, it just, yeah. I don't totally care the audience. Night. Well, it's, it, this is obviously, I mean, it's for casual gamers and that's right. what, I mean, gaming on the iPhone is by proxy of it being on a screen only and no controller, casual. Like, so I get it, but also... Who's paying for this and how much are they willing gonna be willing to yeah. pay for it is is my big question. Nine ninety nine. I'm kidding. They're not <laughs> I'm like, they're not gonna pay ten dollars a month for this. Yeah. So how much? Okay, 150 countries. Over 150 countries. Okay, well that's a start. That's At least nice. It's available elsewhere. Pricing and more details to come, which mm. means they have no mm, idea what to charge for that. Yeah, mm. they haven't figured because they realize that ten dollars is way too much. Way too much. They would over they would just five dollars alienate most? their audience. All right. Like five bucks. Yeah. I mean, yeah. but even it's like, but then is it worth it for developers to be in that in that group of because the margins apps? would be so low, especially right because a lot of these cut, games are right? ten dollars yeah. to download. All right, Tim's back. All right, TV finally. TV time. <sighs> All right, it's a big love heart with a bunch of shows in there. TV is more about than entertainment. It's cultural is he going to define what tv is again because i think <laughs> yes, that <he> was <laughs> it took courage to define television but here we are so much courage they're still defining it now i feel you know? <laughs> yeah i mean yes he i agree yes there's so much he's saying there's so much to watch in more ways yes absolutely so make it easy to find the good stuff that i want to watch without violating privacy how are you going to do that i'm intrigued because it doesn't work very well on, say, something like Apple Photos in the app, say, for example, mm-hmm. with 
doing it on the device as opposed to something like Google Photos where I can see everything that I want and it searches by face, which is kind of creepy, but it can be done. Mm. Apple Photos can do that, but not as well. Not as well. Yeah. Yeah. Not as well. And that's also one of the reasons Siri doesn't work as well. Mm, exactly. Because they ha- have locked down your privacy a little bit more. And so it's, you know. But it's the most popular virtual assistant. Oh, <laughs> didn't you she's know? So, she's so popular. I'm uh, like, popular to yell at? I just Yeah, really... that's a good point. I think the number of times that you accidentally <laughs> invoke. Yeah. She's the most popular voice assistant for you to scream at. There that she's go. worthless. There you it's go. funny. I actually like make it a, a priority so not to scream at the voice assistant so my think, kids don't hear me yeah. screaming oh, at like a, someone like, you know I what I mean I feel abusive <laughs> I know, sometimes right? I'm so angry that she gets it so wrong but like you, the other day <laughs> it she mispronounced the last name of my brother's girlfriend as the meat CEO <laughs> <laughs> she has an Italian last name like how did it get there how <laughs> oh just any any last name that is not anywhere you know it is just anything left of, of sender that is just not anglicized uh-huh. it gets totally wrong i don't even want to it I, I the number of times that it tells me what my name is and it i just laugh it's just it's a joke anyway it is <clears throat> funny but it's a joke and then it makes me sad um okay so, there's that scrolling that you're gonna be scrolling in for like 10 minutes before you choose yes, the show exactly it's a hole of you just fall into the hole the most popular streaming service by which is netflix is not part of it as we know you only pay for what you want on this service. It's all in the one app. Pay and it's for on- only the channels you want. There you go. Doesn't that sound Which a lot awesome? of people really like. That's yeah. pretty awesome. People have been asking for that for mm-hmm. a long time. Mm-hmm. On demand, ad free. Like you can that. Watch it online or offline. Like that. Best picture and sound. What are we talking about here? Dolby. Dolby Vision. Yeah. Dolby. Atmos. HDR Plus. HDR, HDR 10, 10 Plus. Yeah. Maybe. Yes. Family sharing. Yep. That's good. Extra for family sharing though? So I, don't I don't think, think so. Know. I don't think so. So can we share passwords? Yeah. We, we're already going to do it. Yeah, so they, exactly. They'd rather Same have your know. data than charge you more and have you not do it and just share yeah. a password. That's a good point. I think, I think they're all learning, too, that they get that watch time. You know, they get that extra mm-hmm. screen time. Yeah. They have more right. family, and they, yep. they can say, we did. Mm-hmm. We, look at how much we did this year. Yeah. I mean, there's yeah, there's yeah, some other ones that I don't know exactly because they don't jump out at me. I see. I, you know what I don't see? I, I don't see oh. MTV is MTV hits is there. Ugh, I see, yeah, I, see, I don't know what like, that channel is, but you know all the Viacom channels. They're mm-hmm. very cagey about sharing that with anybody. Mm. They want to watch like one show, on but it. you're missing out on all the other good yeah, shows. Yeah, that's the like thing. Veep. I know it's ending, but yeah. it's so good. Silicon Barry Silicon Valley. Yeah, like, I usually just get really HBO during Last Game of Thrones. Night, Westworld. Yes. That's the thing. I usually try to do the trial and then yeah. I watch what I need to, and then then they get you for like one month. I'm like, that's fine. You got ten dollars for one month. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. I can deal with that. And then I cancel, and then sign up again. That's what I do for Game of Thrones. Yeah, that's I. That's There's some not. sports. I see some live sports in there on that there screen. Are. Golf Done channel. Live basketball right there. Okay. Is there a golf there channel? Go. That's all I need to know. <laughs> Beach is like golf, golf, golf. <laughs> Where's the mini golf channel? Yeah, oh, that's I would watch I that. I would watch that. that. Come on, competitive, competitive mini, mini golf. golf. Is that yeah. a thing? It is. It is. Oh, There's an actual like a, a major tournament for it. Wow, I feel like I should watch that. That it's would like be right up my alley. Okay. So they've redesigned the Apple TV app to make it even simpler to find stuff, which is good because, I mean, it's not that it was that confusing, but I didn't think it surfaced stuff as easily as, you know, other apps did. Uh, Just the up next tab shows you the next episode or game to catch up on where you left off. Um, This, like, the interface looks incredibly similar to the Fire TV, I Mm -hmm. have to say. Incredibly similar. Just looking at it going, is that the fu- – no, no, it's Apple. Um, interesting. You even had Jack Ryan on there. I was like, oh, is that, yeah. that's Amazon. That is the aggregated yeah. thing that we were talking about earlier. Mm. We got that tweet. So it says, here's all the subscriptions you have. We can help you find the next favorite show that you that you want, which well, is great. That's good because that's, that's what I really need. That's really good. That's what I need. Um, advanced machine learning based on the subscriptions to figure out what you have to watch. I mean, so here's the thing. I think that the, the Fire TV – does and doesn't do this. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if it uses machine learning or not, but it does surface recommendations. Yeah, it's not oh, I'm sure it's not particularly accurate, but it does surface recommendations. Well, and it's also messy. Like the, oh, the very, that's very, very one messy. problem yeah. with Prime Video is when you go into that app, it's just a mess. Yeah, 
But unless you have a Fire TV, then it aggregates everything from, say, if you do a mm-hmm. search and then it searches for everything across all the services you're signed into, which I do like. And I would I assume that the Apple TV app that we're looking at now would do the same thing. Would Cro- actually go, sure, you just search for Game of Thrones and it will know immediately, okay, I'm just going to pull up HBO. Yeah. And you are subscribed to it, so you have access to it. Or, hey, you're not subscribed to it, but you're looking for Game of Thrones, maybe you can want to add on this to your bundle. You want to add on, like, your $10 extra or sure. whatever. So the, there's live live sports here. There are. Okay, so we weren't expecting this per se. Interesting to know what exactly what sports there are. You know, Chromecast kind of does that too. Like it kind of aggregates yeah. everything that you stream to Chromecast mm-hmm. and then refers things. <clears throat> okay, I just want to put this out there and say that the women of this presentation are killing it. On the dress sense yeah. and the presentation just, sense? Yeah, they're nice. crushing it and I'm... I'm happy. I mean, they're fine. Just a lot of dad executives. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Except for the guy in the jumpsuit. Five. He was exactly. awesome. That was cool. Look, I like fashion risks. I do too. I'm tired of a t-shirt and a sport coat. Or a polo shirt. Mm-hmm. Button up. Something it's button different. Up and and a sport coat. Yeah. And jeans. <laughs> and New Balance sneaks. Like, we can, we can move beyond yeah. that. So are they going to rebrand it? It doesn't look like it. It looks like the app is still going to be called Apple TV. It said channels. Channels. Apple so TV Apple channels. Apple TV channels is the yeah. new app name? or it just, I think it's just watch now just watch, and then it's uh, like, but I think that maybe the like official yeah. name of the service is like Apple TV channels. Right. So it looks like Prime, yes, it's going to basically do exactly what what the Fire TV does and, and aggregate like that. So it goes, yes, you can see that you have a Hulu subscription and a Prime Video subscription, it's all in the one app. And then it will also, though, be able to tell that, say, you get cable from a provider, it will also know that too and mm-hmm. have that surface in the yeah. app. It's all surfaces to, and it's all together, mm-hmm. which I like that. Um, I actually like that I don't have to open the HBO app yeah. to get to their movie list. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I really like the idea of just opening movies and it's like, here's all the free movies you have yeah. access to based on all your subscriptions. Mm-hmm. That's great. Mm-hmm. But there's so going to be so many. It's going to be, that's going to be more than 36 hours. It's going to be 36 your 36 minutes, minutes of scrolling. <laughs> that's yeah. it, 36 minutes. There we go. I'm going to make that. I'm going to make an hour of scrolling. So indecisive. All right. So it looks like, you know, it So there's that one stop shop for subscriptions. Yep. You just click on it, start your trial, whatever. And then it just gets billed to your Apple card. And then you get yep. 3% back or whatever. Hey, that's there you go. Oh. It's all, it's all integrated. <laughs> Give us all your money. I mean, this is, you know, it's good. It doesn't look as, you know, it doesn't look like a, a revolutionary service that's anything incredibly different yet so far from what we can get from other providers or other other platforms. I am interested to see. It looks like now I think they're actually going to be giving us a run through of a couple of the other. She just said no spoilers. Said, no spoilers? That is why I am here. <laughs> Oh, see, okay, as an upcoming parent, I got to say I appreciate this because it's curated content that I don't have to be scared about. <clears throat> YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> oh, yes. Beware of YouTube kids, man. Yeah. It's terrible. It's pretty bad. Yeah, you, it's Even the kids app. It's yeah, bad. that's what I'm saying. The like, kids app. Well, my wife and I have heard and seen things on there. We're like, yikes. You're like, all We're right. deleting this right now. Well, yeah. it's like these like crazy like sweatshop app I know. things where yeah. they like make these fake Disney characters that shoot each other with machine guns and stuff. It's <laughs> insane. It's all like right. They just take like Spider Man avatar and have them like. Doing yeah, weird it's things really for an hour. weird. <laughs> it's really weird. I'm just checking in on the on the scene at live hashtag. This um from Ryan Van Gelder, who's in our New York office. The only arcade I'm gonna give a crap about, he says, is if Apple can bring back this one, and it's got a a screenshot in there. I don't know if we can pull that up in just a second. From Tron. Yeah, it's uh, BBG. It's pretty good. Yeah, BBG's tweet. I like it. It's pretty good. BBG, you're such a hipster. Yes. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Here we go. He's like, only oh, arcade I'm interested hey. in. Oh, all right. That Sonic was a really good show. Too. I wanted to go yeah. on that show so bad. So is this the like... The Nickelodeon it's a video game challenge show. Do you remember that? Yeah. They like put you on a green screen. You got to grab the coins and stuff. Oh, so we, had, final. we had something similar in Australia called Amazing, which was involved a video game challenge at the end, but the whole it was actually like a maze-based treasure hunt during the entire show. That was my favorite show growing up. Again, I wanted to be on that too. Didn't happen. We had Double Dare. I think, yeah. Was double double dare. Dare. That sounds like closer to Double Dare, actually. <laughs> yeah. Mm. All these shows. 
Okay, so yes, obviously going to work across platforms like the iPhone and the Mac is the first actual platform that's going to get this in the fall. Interesting. I don't watch. No, I think TV. they said May for the for the update. Oh, they they did. Yeah. And then on on Mac, it will on be Mac this is fall. the first. Oh, okay, yeah, right, for right, the first sorry. time, it'll be this fall. My bad, I misread that. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh, here we go. Okay, say, here's some partners: Samsung, LG, Sony, and Vizio. Okay, so we know it's going to be on some TVs. Smart TVs. Okay, all right, all right. Oh. And, and they're even bringing it, the TV. Apple TV app, to Roku and, and Fire TV. There you go. No way. Yes, there right. you go. Smackdown. They oh, are God. so desperate for yeah. this to be successful. Oh, yeah. yeah. But why would you? Okay, so you open up Fire TV and you open up then the Apple TV app, which looks exactly the same as the Fire TV app. So why wouldn't you just use the Fire TV app? I don't know. Because you get access to the Apple branded content and the way to subscribe to the channel. I guess easier. if you have an iPhone, but you have you prefer a Fire TV. Well, this is actually, that's exactly my scenario. Then that's... I, I prefer the Fire TV, and I do have an iPhone. Mm -hmm. But then I also mm. have a like Chromecast audio know. to stream. Like, well, that's the same too, as like so opening like... up Prime Video yeah. and Prime Video in uh, Apple TV. Yeah. That's... Different. Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting to see how that how that goes. Mm -hmm. Tim's back out on stage. Here we go. We gave, know. They have more to contribute, he says. So Introducing our new Will I Am show. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Do not. So, again, the personalization and the. And over yeah. time, is this personalization actually good. going to be good? It is across a lot of. It is. It's just that that's a lot more content to sift through in yeah. order to yes. make. I mean, yes, it's all so been done. It has machine. to be duration of the playlist ain't not good great. ain't good so i would want to see if this is any better i am going to be skeptical until proven otherwise but for me i think that's the biggest thing that doesn't push me over the line into subscribing mm -hmm. to more services is that i won't get good recommendations this is I, my favorite this tweet instead of netflix and chill it's now it's now about let's eat apple pie <laughs> 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 oh i love the internet guys <laughs> Oh, what a surprise. Do I get a prize? Do I win something for that? I just A free subscription to Apple TV Plus. Woo! <laughs> uh, a lot of people are like, does this service yeah. exist in my country? Mm -hmm. Unlike anything that's ever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's magical. Magical. Yes. It takes courage. It's a magical. Coming from heaven, too. It does with the cloud. All right. So there are the heads of the original programming are up. Yes. yes ever told oh you know what twitter i'm just gonna go ahead and hide that chat i don't want to see it thank you just hide thanks so they're gonna have to show us something that is really gonna move the bar because i think the only thing that i am genuinely excited about so far that i think has the most potential is the credit card just because it has that user base built in so easily and it seems so seamless the other thing at the time i'm not drawn to it so this i i really want to see some some trailers some original content and i were just like we are we are not we're not into this unless the content is like whoa it's gotta be really good amazing in the black and white though i mean that what a interesting it's very apple it, it is very apple i mean if only oh and sophia coppola right there okay so we have some creators she makes there. awesome movies she does and then it's just like these uh, it doesn't look like they're actually there on stage. It just looks like this video, unless they bring out, unless Spielberg does take this to the stage. I wonder He's who they are going to e. bring out. E.T. Part e. 2. Just yeah, e. this JJ, I love everything uh, he does. Okay, so JJ's, JJ Abrams' series. So Jennifer Garner is starring in a limited series, teaming up with JJ Abrams. And then Abrams also has a half an hour musical dramedy. Uh, with songs written by Sarah Burrells called Little Voice. Yeah. yeah. He saved the Han Solo movie, right? He did? Didn't he take over? He took over, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lord and Miller left and uh they brought him in and he I think he reshot almost almost all the movie. So the celebs are on the video screen, but are they there? We saw a couple in the audience, but somebody had not. mentioned in the audience that the first few rows had like no screens on. So like laptop screens, so they ah, assumed, so they assumed it was like they were a lot there. of CEOs mm -hmm. and celebrities, mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. I know Octavia Spencer and Aaron Paul are there, so mm -hmm. it's possible that all of these makers are there as well. 
It's a very artistic clip. Just it's very dramatic. I, it is. It is very dramatic. The music is... All black and white. Ooh. Very dramatic. So they're just running through the other projects. Uh, Octavia Spencer is starring in Are You Sleeping? Uh, it's people's obsession with the true crime podcast. Is it serial? I don't know. I'm going off the live blog here, so there is information coming through in spurts. I'm starring um, Aaron Paul, who was there in the audience, as you mentioned. I love this tweet from Ashley Dell. No wonder Steven Spielberg was against Netflix getting Oscar nominations. He already had his Apple a Day brand deal. Oh, oh totally. Yeah. yeah. Very interesting mm-hmm. that he was so anti filmmakers being able to use Netflix mm-hmm. as a way to get an Oscar nomination because of Roma, mm. while he has been making films for or a film or whatever he's making for Apple. There you go. When I heard that, it just sounded like an old guy to me saying, oh, kids music <laughs> yeah. these days. You exactly. Know, get off my lawn. Yeah. Exactly right. <laughs> Those talkies, they're never going to do anything. <laughs> I'd say, yeah, color? Say. Who color? wants color Who in their that? movies? It's a fad. <laughs> uh, the Reese Witherspoon and Jennifer Aniston show is a, about a morning talk show. Really? Don't. Want to watch? It's about. That. I, is, I is it a morning talk show? I'm really bored I by the idea of watch watching two. two I just not interested. White women making a morning talk show. Not interested. No, no, thank not you. Not interested. That just but yeah. We already have Kelly no. and Ryan. We already have that. It's called <laughs> Kathy Lee and Hoda. Thank you. <laughs> Unless it's based on a true story and it's really dramatic and there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff about Kathy Lee and Hoda ha- secretly hating each other, mm-hmm. then I would watch that. But no, thank you. Yeah, no, not not interested. Yeah. That just seems so boring. I'm interested, though. I mean, like, the people that they have outlined here as the creators, the big-name directors, are they people that a younger demographic are going to be interested in? That's, that's a great question. That's ex- I, I'm just – I don't think so. Jeanette607 I- on Twitter says, enduring this Apple event. I'm yeah. already at the point where I just don't care what original TV programming or movies they produce. Let the critics watch this stuff and let me know whether I really need Apple TV. Plus. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think just, a lot of people feel that way. I feel like, you know, there are so many studios that are making incredibly edgy, interesting, different content with people that we don't know that are giving chances to talent on the production side, on the cinematography side, on the writing side that are, you know, at the starts of their careers or actually maturing really quickly in their careers Mm -hmm. to a point where they're making incredibly smart, clever work. Steven Spielberg is on stage. He is? He's there. The lights came up and Steven Spielberg stood in the darkness. (laughs) Finally. I like that it's called Apple TV plus Steven. (laughs) 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 Are they going to make an emoji for that? Oh. Standing Guys, we're ovation. going on an hour and 15 minutes. All righty. Uh-huh. All right. And Still I haven't it. found anything that I want to watch on this service. Yeah. Again, no. I want to see this service, like, take some risks with some content. This was the That's longest promo video I've ever watched from Apple. It, it was it pretty is. long. Longest promo. And that's saying a well, lot. Well, Hollywood's nothing mm-hmm. if not self-indulgent. Well, I mean, how long <laughs> does the Oscars go for? Let's be honest. That's like mm-hmm. four or five hours this year. Wasn't yeah. It? yeah. But that's, that's the Oscars. This is the Apple Oscars. Uh, uh, Thank you. <laughs> Apple TV this is their moment to shine. I mean, next up, they're just going to have their own awards ceremony, really. The Apple Awards. The yeah. Apple Awards is just going to happen. All right, still running through this video. Hmm. All right, Spielberg on stage. People really on Twitter seem to have a lot of thoughts about how boring this event feels. I mean, watching it without volume in one window and on the live blog on on another, I uh, agree. <laughs> remember, I like that's what I said. What people are going to say, this is underwhelming. Like, yeah. this is not. It's services because people want people want hardware from Apple. It's like the thing that makes people excited. Exactly. And the only piece of hardware is the thing that's generating the most buzz: the card. The yeah. card. The exactly. only thing that people are You're super right. jacked about. They're like, oh, people are going to flex with this card. Yeah. Like, oh, like it's. I mean, that's the thing. It's certainly, the only thing that I'm interested in. Yeah. Same. As here. a consumer. Right now. Okay, so Steven Spielberg has this sci-fi thing about a World War II pilot who plane travels in time. He's talking about that right now. 
Again, doesn't sound interesting. World War II yeah. and Spielberg does not a combination I want to watch again and again. It's and very again. safe. It it's is very, very safe. safe. Just put World War II Spielberg, in anything, Ron safe. Howard, yeah. these, these like older directors that have made certainly made amazing things, um, but are traditionally very safe the, at this point in time. Very much so. I mean, even at the height of their careers, I would say also very safe. I would, I would, I would fight you on that one, okay. but, but you know, like Spielberg, Jaws, Jaws and I, yeah. I, there's, there's, ET, a lot of the stuff Spielberg did in the seventies is was revolutionary, but, um, but yeah, like I mean, now it's 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 safe. It feels very safe the things that they do because what they did thirty years ago is was revolutionary, mm-hmm. but now it feels old pedestrian. It just feels yeah, like it feels same old. same. It just doesn't feel like anything there is. Exciting is like, say, for but example. risk versus reward. Yeah. But, I mean, at the same time, though, you watch a lot of original content on Netflix. It has gotten dramatically better over the past, say, I think year and a half at least, especially. But even at the start, it's just throwing so much stuff against the wall, seeing what sticks. And a lot of it was just not good. Mm-hmm. Not good at all. But I think definitely still finding, finding their feet and getting much, much better. And, I, again, this is just being safe not taking any risks that I can see. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe there's going to be some surprise. Maybe there'll be something interesting mm-hmm. that's going to do it for me. There's but Jennifer, Jennifer yeah. Aniston. And her face doesn't move anymore. <laughs> Reese Witherspoon, <laughs> Jen Aniston. And then, oh, no, Steve, Steve really Carell just, just popped on stage. Steve Carell just Steve popped Carell. on stage. Yeah, all very safe people. As, as, just to echo what you're saying, you know, none of them are controversial at all. All no. very, all very white too. Yeah, I'm just throwing it out there. Just, yeah, there's, there's definitely that. There's no diversity here that I can see yet. Octavia Spencer's and and okay. M. Night Shyamalan yeah. are like the two big. Two. I had our, uh, Shyamalan. A lot of his movies have been a lot, a lot of clunkers the last few. Mm. Didn't he have? He had one hit recently that I think. A recent one. I think so. I forget what it was called, but. I can't say I follow his work very closely. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Steve Carell is what crashing the presentation by He's uh, in this show. He's in the show. Okay. Yeah. Again. Okay, PS, can I just say Chris Evans is there? Ah. So he was with a beard. <laughs> ah, you see, I told you. She's very upset. Yeah, you're, you're upset that you're not there now, huh? He looks wait, can we he looks so excited to be there. <laughs> oh, come. <laughs> Yeah. This is the face of a man who is not super unexcited (laughs) about anything. I got to say, it's a little bit awkward to see celebs at a t- at a Apple an event. Apple event. Because I, you know, they I mean, it's nothing feel against a little awkward either. Well. It just feels contrived. Um, Very similar to upfronts. Yes. So, uh, yes, so yes, it, yes. in TV, you have totally. upfronts where they try to sell new shows to advertisers. All the channels do this. And um, it they often bring out the stars of their big shows and all the things they have going on. And sometimes they can be very entertaining. But a lot of times it feels very contrived. Yeah. And that's what this feels like. That's what it definitely feels like. All right. They're talking about the morning show. And I just and his. Oh, also, also like really a morning show news. I mean, a lot no, of it's... news is like for older people, you know? But uh, let's think I'm about the demographic of these Maybe shows. Maybe I've done morning shows, so I don't care about morning shows behind the scenes. Maybe but... it's scripted, like it's a comedy, like it's it the is, office. It is, it is. Okay. Sure. It now, is. We, okay. now we have more exciting people on stage. <laughs> we got a Jason Momoa, Viola Davis. Uh, this, this I'm, but okay. I can get behind whatever this is. Okay. Like, Starting to get more interesting. Should have started with the more interesting, though. It's definitely more attractive. By at least 80% com- with the two of them up there. Jason Momo is going to try something with everyone. Now I'm scared. What, like interactive elements or something? He's like, oh. I want you to experience something. Oh. Under your seat, you will find... Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about experiencing the world without sight. So is he... Can I Bird ask box. Everybody to, uh, oh yeah. Bird box two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I like. By the way, I misspoke earlier. It's not Viola Davis. Um, my brain is not functional because there's a baby in me and it steals everything. But it, um, it's Alfre Wood. Ugh. Alf Alfre Woodard. It's a weird name. Guys, do you know what I, it's like to not have caffeine? <laughs> 
I do. I miss it so much. I, I hear you. My brain stops working. It's t- You're doing better than me, though. I don't know who any of these people are beyond like yeah. Spielberg and Jennifer Aniston, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like an idiot because I'm like, of course it is. But my brain, I'm used to award season just ended. And all I've been hearing is Viola, 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 Viola. This is just. This is scintillating content, scintillating. ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Yeah, this is, I, I just. Guys, it's kind of boring. Like, I, I kind of. <laughs> I mean, even the actors on stage look a little bored. Yeah. it's It, it does really feel like upfronts. Like, this is, this feels like an investor's meeting where they bring people out and they're like, here's what we're doing, here's what we want to do, you know, whatever. And then, you know, the actors come out and they're kind of like on a script. Yeah. They're scripted. Yeah. They're forced to kind of. Make it sound exciting yeah. without being too off mm-hmm. the off script. Oh yeah, for sure. Like oh, they yeah. can't reveal too much, especially Apple yeah. probably has a list of this is what you should never say. This is the, these are the three words you should keep on. Yeah, yeah. everything yeah. very precise. Um, on the scene at live hashtag Carla says, "Don't we already know that morning show people hate each other?" Yeah, we <laughs> pretty answer. much know. Like, uh, that's know been explored to. I I mean the only news the the only news the news TV show that I liked was um the one where. It was HBO, the newsroom. The, the newsroom. That was good. Yeah. There's some, uh, traditionally, historically in TV, there have been some good ones. I yes. mean, WKRP in, from Cincinnati is really amazing. Um, you got the newsroom. You have. Uh, that was HBO, right? WKRP? Not as network TV. That was like way back in the, Always, way back in the day. There was another one about a morning show that never did quite very well. Mm. I don't remember. I think that the way, unless it's going to be like a comedy. There was. There was well, and then you have like ones that are about production, like Thirty Rock. Um, what is it? Some uh, something sixty on the Sunset Strip. That was one of the things. Kumail Nanjiani's out on stage now. I love Kumail. Also, uh, the news is that one too. He, he and his wife. Yeah. Were on they were working on a series. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Emily V. Gordon. She's great. I got to say the most awkward thing for me watching this right now is the hugs between the actors. <laughs> yeah. The one between... St- like, I haven't seen you in so long. No, yeah. The, the one between um, Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon was like hugging, but from a distance, it was just a little awkward. Yeah. It's, it's weird. They're already tired of tired of working with each other. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, really, uh, they're, <laughs> they're setting the stage now for making this, you know, Camille. Camille might be my favorite, right? So far, he's is he is he making it funny on stage? A little bit, yeah. Okay, someone was Good. wooing pa- Pakistan. So. But he's a he's a stand up comedian. Yeah. Yeah. like Thank he knows you. how to make it funny. God, this right. is why you hire well, and people he also who are meant kno- to do this live in yeah. front of an audience. He's also dealt with tech people based on his Silicon Valley. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. And, exactly. So okay. A lot of people in the Apple event hashtag are talking about how boring this seems and they can't quite put their finger on it. And it's very much the same reason why the Oscars seems really boring because you have a bunch of actors who are amazing at what they do, but they're not used to doing things on live TV. This is like Mm -hmm. not a thing that they're trained for. They're trained to be either dramatic or comedic actors with takes and they get to get the right take and it's, Mm -hmm. you know, they could go through 10 takes of something before something is perfect. Right. And they have to read a teleprompter, which is a, which is a skill, by the way. Like we can all attest to this. (laughs) Oh yeah, It's a, it's a skill. I still suck. And it's hard to not look like you're reading. And for, and for actors who are, and for actors and not hosts, Mm -hmm, like people, mm -hmm. it's, it's sometimes it's really hard. Like it's really, really hard. And so you seem stiff and it's like, people go, why does this actor seem so stiff when they seem so cool in X, Y, Z show, or they seem cool in this movie. And it's like, because that's not what they're trained to do. Yeah. So that's why it seems a little awkward. Just a, just FYI, throwing it out there. Well, and, and he, Camille is used to doing stand up. So. He does stand up. Yeah, yeah. So he knows how to make for people sure, laugh. For he sure. knows. He's, he stage. looks the most comfortable oh, yeah. out of anybody who's exactly. been up there exactly. thus far. Totally. The Big Sick is a great movie. Yeah. yeah. The Big it, Sick is so great. I it's didn't really like good. it as much as I thought I would. I went into it expecting it, great things and a really, uh, like, a it really was a good, good I, quiet indie movie. Yeah, I agree with you there. But I think, I don't know, I just wish the script was workshopped a bit more. I just felt like there were a couple holes there that I didn't. Mm. In quiet, I get. But I, I do love his work, and I think that he and his wife make a great team. Yes. 
So I am actually, this is the, probably the first show that I'm actually interested in watching. As, as uh, outsiders as a, coming as to America. As an immigrant, yes. <laughs> Little America is everyday stories featuring yes. immigrants. So this one is something that I wouldn't be interested in. Just Same. Purely on a, oh, I could potentially identify with that. Which you have a, a Aziz Ansari who kind of did the same thing for Netflix, but it was based on his experience. This is interesting that it's like a collection of experiences. It's like an anthology. Yeah, yeah. this will be cool because you get to see different cultures. Like, I didn't relate to Aziz Ansari's experience. And because, it looks like these are mm-hmm. docu. Yeah. These are all true stories? I'm not sure about that. But I don't know if they're true stories, but it... Uh, that make it more compelling. Stories. Yeah. Because he's talking would, about yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. yeah, he is like talking like they are. But, As if they are, but right. maybe not. Yeah. Maybe not. Um... I'm going to take a little yes, break. Yes, off. Be, I'll be feel right free. Back. It's turning into a long event. We're an hour 25. I, I, I realize we're going to be here a while. <laughs> we're going to be here a while. They're going to run through all of the shows. Um, so running through a couple of the stories, which sound, which sound interesting and, and touching, which is something that, I don't know, I feel like there's a, the real personal connection with a lot of these shows is just isn't there. And this potentially is the first one that does have that. It's very interesting. And it looks like he's saying, he's like, these are about immigrants from all over. So it does seem like they are real stories. Mm -hmm. So Uh, let's hope that the writers and directors, mostly immigrants are the children of immigrants. That's great. That's great. Cool. Diverse. Let's hope that. that the service that this is available on to watch is available in countries outside of the U S as well. So people can also watch these stories from elsewhere in the world. One would hope. Given that this is a one know, would hope, one would hope. <laughs> that's always I that's live always in hope. That I, yeah, we yeah. always live kind of in that area whenever there's an apple in that. Yeah. Uh, we hope that Little America will help viewers understand there's no such thing as the other. There's only us. That's you know that's nice. So maybe I, they're I, based I, on true stories. Yeah, I'm sure that there might be a, like a dramatization there, but I like it. And uh, it looks like one of the producers is Alan Yang, aka. One of the, he was a producer, director of a lot of the Master of None stuff. And uh, also, I think, worked on that series called Heaven. Um, is it called Heaven? No. What's the one on Netflix with, not Heaven, Forever, mm-hmm. with uh, with Maya Rudolph and yeah. uh, Fred Armisen. I think that show was really interesting. Uh, there were a couple episodes in that that were really, like, I think probably a precursor to this. There was really, mm-hmm. like, the, the sort of separate episodes about the vignettes away from the main characters, which I find much way more fascinating than the main characters. So it sounds like this might be potentially something similar to one of those. Uh, so Big Bird's on stage now. Nice. What? They brought out Big Bird. Big Bird. They're PBS. bringing out right. the Big Birds now. This is my kind of show. Let's talk about Sesame Street. Mm-hmm. PBS Kids app is awesome. Big Bird's, oh, yeah, PBS Big Bird's Kids. on stage. Vanessa, you missed Big Bird. Next time I need to go back to travel then. <laughs> this is, yeah, definitely the best guest so far. <laughs> Big Bird. Like, should have just started with Big Bird. It's a new, <laughs> it's a new, uh, a new actor in the Big Bird costume, too. Is it? Oh, yeah, because he, he just retired like He just retired after like 80 ago. years. Oh, yeah. my like gosh. Yeah. Long time. 80 years of commitment. Big Bird. <laughs> totally. To the character. It's an icon. Oh. Oh, and there are some other Sesame Street characters. Who's the one that pops up out of the... I haven't watched Sesame Oscar Street the anymore. Grouch? No, it's not Oscar. Oh, that's it's another so one. Got, it's, it's like Oscar's pigtail counterpart. Mm. Baby Oscar the Grouch? I wish I knew. I, I should start watching it again. I feel like... No. Really? <laughs> <laughs> really, <Maxine? laughs> You know, I, I would rather, much rather be able to spot, spot a Muppet than a celebrity. That's yeah. kind of like the person that I am. <laughs> I want to see. I want to be able to identify Muppets first. Celebrity second. Most recent three tweets on this. Okay, I'm so extremely bored of this now. Please move on. Like my pal once said, I am no longer watching this. It is happening to me. And also, <laughs> too much. I'm going to read a summary of something else happens. I'm out. Yeah, wait till the scene it highlights. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We'll have that. <laughs> Uh, so they're partnering with the Sesame Workshop to create original children's programming. And Sesame Street itself, though, isn't part of the deal, apparently. So HBO has the rights to that. HBO, so you're going to yeah, have yes. to get on HBO. But this to might watch be that. an exclusive show. Right. But it's original programming. So right. I'm assuming there's multiple shows in the works, not necessarily just one, or well, at least maybe one to start with. Maybe one to start. And then moving on. It's going to be all shows about coding and apps. Yeah. I mean,. Let's just hope it's better than Planet of the Apps. <laughs> yes. So. I love Big Bird. 
just can't go wrong. I'm just I did like, not know this about you, Lexi. This is the highlight Lexi for me. Is. It really shows you the tone of the event when Big Bird is the highlight <laughs> for me, anyway. True. <laughs> I mean, is, is though, are any of these enough to make you interested as a consumer to fork over X amount of dollars for Apple TV Plus? Anyone? I For me, none of these really. No. Nothing's, maybe nothing's a, really jumping out Maybe at me. a one-month trial I will do just I'll, so I can watch the content exactly. that kind of maybe does it for me, like that Little America show. But anything but will else? will they release it once a week like HBO oh, or no. will they release it Don't. like Netflix where it's binge? Binge, just so I can do the one Oh, I, I bet it'll be HBO style. Ugh. No. Mm-hmm. All right, the stage has gone to black and on the stream you can see all of the, t- the laptops Abrams. and the, uh, <laughs> the phones. <laughs> For once, stage I'm like, where's back? the iPhone? <laughs> I know. Normally, you know, if you've watched previous Apple events, we're all like, oh, wow. The hardware, oh, it's okay. It's sort of standard what we'd expect. And now it's like, where's the hardware? We want some hardware. I, know. I want to get like, excited about hardware. I, hardware. I do appreciate that they're launching that show with the the with the with Muppet, with the Sesame Street character that is going to have a preschool show that helps teach kids how to code. Oh, yeah, that's cool. That's awesome. That is cool. But also... Move on. Let's, you know... Okay. Cool. <laughs> my, ki- my kid's not going to be making the money. It's me. I'm paying I need it to be exciting for me. <laughs> for me. You will be buying the Minecraft and all the games where they'll learn how to code. Yeah, yeah, basically. exactly. They're tra- basically, yeah, we're going to train you how to play Minecraft in Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, there's already a, um, some memes going on about the credit card with the, um, you know, the look back guy with the girlfriend. There's like the Apple card is the, oh, I'm just checking out the Apple card and behind is mm. all the other credit cards. The chase app. Yes, pretty much at this stage. All right, JJ's show. Um, a romantic and funny show about what is hard and funny about, well, said funny twice. Uh, it's double funny. About transformative, about finding your voice as an artist and person. I mean... I think that's all I'm going to say about that. I, I, uh, I, that doesn't do it for me either. <laughs> has he ever made a show that's like, did you say romantic? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I can't. Romantic. <laughs> yeah, J.J. Abrams making a romantic show. I don't know about that. The theme yeah. song says it all, guys. And now we're going to have a theme song. Yes. Well, also called Little Voice, Little America, Apple L- Plus. Little it Voice seems, is there. Can I just say all of this content seems very twee? Twee? Yeah, Sweet. like, uh, like Pinterest worthy, yeah. cutesy kind yeah. of, you know what I mean? Like Let's twee. Yeah. yeah, like, oh, we have a talk show about two, two a woman running a talk show and a ro- little romantic thing, little voices. And oh, look at these cute little stories about immigrants. Like, I'm like, you know what, guys? Like, nothing, ha- it doesn't all have to be cute. It doesn't all have to be safe. It doesn't all have to be, I don't know. But there's the World War II drama because we haven't seen anything that, like no. that before. But here, yeah, I was going <laughs> to say, that also seems so safe. It seems so, yeah, yeah I just, mm. And now, do we have a performance? Oh, we have a the theme song. Sarah we Borelli is, yep. is about to perform yep. on stage. Here we go. Making this oh, even I'm, longer. My live stream is like, she's halfway through this song. You're already <laughs> through it. It's, here, it's just she's starting. She's for it. Yeah. I mean, I love her as an artist. It's just this good, this, it's, what, what we're going she, on an hour if, and 33 minutes. If I minutes. wasn't falling asleep before, yeah. this is now enough. is the time. Now is the time. So basically, it's A Star is Born, but at, with episodes. Oh, no. I mean, yeah. right? Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> this little musical interlude comes about an hour and a half after we started this rolling parade of shows. Yeah. Can I just, Joan, I love can you. Can I just tell everybody, like, for those of you who never had to watch Upfronts. Um, yeah, no. I'm so glad all of you get to suffer with me now <laughs> because I watch Upfronts for everybody every year. Thank you, Ashley. And and it is insufferable. <laughs> like it's, people are like, oh, it's celebrities and excite. No. No. It's basically a whole bunch of actors paid to be there to help sell your stuff. And it's, uh, it's oh boy, it's it's tough. It's tough. CBS does a decent job of doing it. They try to make it funny. Well, because they have and, Stephen you know. Colbert. Yeah, yeah. Like we, Colbert. the CBS, like, and, and NBC has Fallon and like, you know, 
like sometimes they'll get Fallon and, and stuff. But at the end of the day, it's like it's still just actors having having to be somewhere to sell the show to advertisers. And in this case, they're trying to sell it to us. And so it's just like we're the we're the audience here. But it's also like, ooh, it's they're not doing a very good job. Yeah, there's a big laundry list of all the creators that they're signing on board. Spike Disney Lee, Plus, D23 is going to come out later <laughs> this year, and it's going to be, it's, it's, it's going to be something else. It'll not be this. A, it'll be a <laughs> D23 is going to be a very good conference this year. Very interesting. Well, let's see. What I want to know is the price. That's yeah, really, I know. Let's, let's that's fast forward really, to the price because if it's. Imagine. Let's no the bundled price of all this stuff. Yeah, is give me what the I'm bundled price. In. That's all yeah. I care about. I don't care about anything else. I'm not obviously at this point. I'm not paying a standalone subscription service for this. Not for no. that. No, that here's was the sizzle reel of all the shows, guys. Okay. All right, price, 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 price. It's the ad. why does Jason Momoa always have to be wet? In every show <laughs> and movie he is in. Because have you seen him? Like no, him. I have seen him doused in water, and I'm not disagreeing with it, but I'm like, he's literally dou- he's doused in water and everything. It's great. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Watching it says the world's most creative storytellers are on the platform. I mean, yes and no. The proof is in the pudding, as they say. Uh-huh. Give us the price. Give us the price. What if it, okay, if they don't announce it as the bundle deal first, if they announce the standalone service first, what are we thinking? No. $10, $15 Ten. a month? Ten. Five dollars oh, a month. Oh, here we go with the trailers. Now it'll be 10 It'll be 10 I mean, it looks like oh. they have a lot of high quality stuff and yeah, good for them. But it doesn't look interesting to me. Maybe There's we're the wrong audience, that's though. Grabbing could be a, me. Could be a sleeper hit. It could be. Know. But maybe we're the wrong audience. Maybe this is not the demographic that they're targeting. And maybe. Well, it's convenience of access. It's like if you already have an Apple TV, you have an iPhone. It's like this is. Mm-hmm. For right most there. people, they go, okay, I'll just, I'll yeah. just get this. And I, also for people that aren't quite. Like they haven't got Netflix yet. It's right. a small, probably a small number, but. It's a it's tiny probably, number. Yeah, but but or another streaming service. It's people, people who that, want yeah. more than one streaming service. This is like uh, consoles. Like yeah. you have like your PlayStation or your Xbox, and then like you, if you want a second one, you get a Switch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like yeah, it's a high roll, right? That's how yeah. everybody rolls. Yeah. Everybody rolls. I'm sorry is for that enough? morning show. Show I know I'm looks... just not interested. I thought it was an actual that. like morning show. I didn't think I it was a scripted no, show. No, I know. <laughs> They're just, yeah. That would have been more interesting than what it actually is. I just feel like I've seen the scripted morning show. I'm more interested in that Mindy Kaling movie with Emma Thompson. The late, late night. The one where she's a, comes in as a writer. Wasn't that, was that at Sundance though? Yeah. 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 That's, that's interesting. Great notices. That that one got great notices. Mm -hmm. Is this their Game of Thrones kind of? All right. It's coming this fall. Coming this fall. Yeah. 100 plus countries. Thank you. Finally, we have Lots something. Lots of countries. That's fantastic. Something available outside of the US. Finally, something, straight off the bat. Something good. Uh, Ad free. Yes. Well, one would expect for the unnamed That to price me, yet. that they're launching in fall is crazy. I mean, I get that it'll come with iOS 13 mm-hmm. and all the, the new iPhone. Everything. Yeah. It'll come with all the new devices. That's fine. No pricing. They just left Nothing. the stage. No Tim price. Cook's back on stage. Oh, they're just waiting to see what the market will tolerate. They really are because they know that the offering isn't strong enough to make people go, yeah, actually, that is worth another $10 a month. Mm. All right. Tim Cook back on stage. What is happening, Tim? Talking about TV Plus. I If they made us sit through all of this without a price point, no I hate price that. Point. Yeah, that's, that's I yell terrible. about this oh. every time yeah. there's an Apple event. Like, just I tell know. me how much it costs when I, I can get it. Like, I know. These are the things I care about. One more storyteller to share with you. This is the one more thing. Okay. Come thank, on. It's thank God. Steve Jobs. Hey, thank God. Is it bad that now I'm, I'm like craving an air power mat after all that? <laughs> it's a remarkable <laughs> story. I'm going to cry. An air power yeah. mat. They just bring out an air power mat. I'm going to cry if it's an air power mat. <laughs> hey, suddenly those AirPods too are looking way more I know, uh, revolutionary. <laughs> Uh, Everyone in my feed is like, this is so boring. <laughs> Shara was like, is this finally Oprah? Yeah. No. <laughs> is, it is this finally Oprah? Oprah? A voice not that Oprah. we've all been missing. Who is it? 
Everyone's voting, and Joni is joining her. She thinks it's Oprah too. The yeah. voice that's amplified. Probably oh, maybe. Oprah. I don't know. Op- I think it's an air power mat. <laughs> this is, and she's gonna bring out the air power mat. Yeah. She's probably gonna come out. This is what she's doing instead of running for president in 2020. Is being on Apple. Mm. And if you subscribe to Voice, you if you subscribe to Apple TV Plus, you also get a free subscription to Own Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Oprah's been on every cover. Yep. All right. Every Who cover. is this guest? We've all been missing. It's got to be Oprah, unlike any other. How much yeah, conversation matters? How much community matters? I mean, like, all these title yeah. cards. And the world needs. Which one? Just bring out one Oprah. More oh my God. of what matters. Just bring out the air power. Oh. They're teasing it with that those O's moving around, the letters. Yeah, yeah. it's Oprah. She's literally it's lit Oprah. on stage like an wow. angel. Wow. With <laughs> you need to see this. Watch. This Wait is for hilarious. The She's, She's got a spotlight on her and they're oh back. Yeah. They're back and she oh looks like God. an angel has appeared yes. on stage. <laughs> Look, guys, it's God <laughs> coming it's to Oprah. us like, in a white robe. Oh, I love it. I love it. Wait People jumping it. out of their chairs. People Wait are losing it. it. Is she going to give everyone a Pontiac? Oh, it's oh. under the chair. <laughs> yes. So check under your seats, yes. guys. There's a pair of car keys. Uh, it's an outstanding oh, ovation. Look at everyone. It is like, oh, it's yeah. like yeah. Guys, the one more Here thing's going to be you get an Apple car. Yeah. You get an <laughs> Apple car. Everybody gets an Apple car. In 2025. Oh my yeah. God. In, in 30 years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw a Hair Force one and I'm heartened. Oh, oh. but he doesn't get any stage time. I know. This not, tweet, not this time. This tweet makes more sense to me now. Oh, you get a plus. You get a plus. Someone tweeted this. Yeah, I was like, yeah, why do they have an Oprah in this? Nice. They were ahead of the ball, though. That was tweeted, what, half an hour Yeah, he was way ahead. Oprah and I are, I just like to say we're connected via glasses today because her glasses look really good. Oprah's inspo was your glasses, Ashley. Yeah. My glasses are Oprah approved. It's real. It happened. (laughs) Not these ones, but my default glasses. Taunting challenge. What is she going to do? I don't know. Is it going to be a new... I mean, she's going to save Apple TV+. Plus. All she has to do is just do her talk show over again. Reboot it. I know. Reboot. Reboot Oprah show. I mean, that's just... If they manage to get Oprah for that, that's that's a good move. Yep. And then that's going to launch her presidential campaign. Well, that's also a coup and a half, (laughs) It is, because I'm sure so many other networks have tried to reboot that, right? Also, I love her outfit. Yeah, me too. Really good. Yeah, the women today on stage have been, have been killing it. Yeah. Looking so good and presenting so well. A plus fashion, guys. Love it. All right. So so we knew of the deal with Oprah, mm-hmm, we but did. we didn't know anything about it. No. No. We didn't know if it was going to be her or her producing. Mm-hmm. Or, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But she does. She does both. Yes. Mm-hmm. So who knows? Jane Krakowski's in the audience. She does all. Her. All the Oprah things. does everything. Everything. She's just a one woman band. She can do it all. She's a badass. Apple TV plus Oprah. The number of people on uh, the Apple event <laughs> hashtag that are just tweeting the Oprah gifts is uh, is pretty good, as to be expected. All right. What are you telling us, Oprah? What are yeah, the details about this? We want the details. Oh, I love this. I love this quote from her. Each of us comes to this earth with a deep potential that yearns to be fulfilled, with a love to be set free. Oh, Oprah. I mean, that's just like such an Oprah Oprah. thing. Uh, Such an Oprah thing. All right. She is. um, What if Oprah just launched uh, Apple's social new social media network to like destroy Twitter? That would be. There you go. I'd pay ten dollars a month for that. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna throw this out there. What if Apple just uh, Oprah just came on to launch the AirPower? (laughs) She's like, I'm so excited to announce. And you get an F power, and you don't I'm get an F power. I'm not giving F-hour. up on this. I'm not giving up. Your all your phones are being charged right now. Yes. You didn't the notice. Air, it's the new but version of everybody's F-hour. phone. I love okay, it. so documentaries. <laughs> all right, documentaries, not the talk show that we wanted. Toxic hey. labor about assault in the workplace. <laughs> okay. And mental health. There's some heavy hitting subjects there. Well, that's the stuff all she's right. interested in. Yeah. So. That's it. Two documentaries. That's it. Yep. That's so. She's far. She's holding out for more she's Apple money. She's only one yeah. woman. <laughs> I know, she, but so she's looking for more Apple money. She's like, once these two are done, my price goes up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, getting a lot of applause from the crowd there. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, it's. Oprah, I mean, course, like, I would literally fighting. clap for Oprah if I just start walking down the street. <laughs> like, yes. 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 I mean, how might it must be? Imagine being Oprah yeah. and dealing with that with the grace that she does deal with it. Yeah. Oh, unbelievable! Like I at, my, when I, I so when I met her, it was she was at the Wrinkle in Time after party and literally took the time to talk to everyone who wanted to talk to her. There were just so many people waiting to talk to her. And she was kind and patient and talked to every single person and took the time and like engaged. She was there with you. Like you didn't feel, um, it was, it was, I gotta say it's really impressive. Like I was very impressed by that. I love it. There were lesser stars at that after party who, acted as if they were bigger than Oprah. So it was very refreshing to see that. Good for you, Oprah. It was very nice. Okay, there's it's the a reason b- why she has so much longevity. Yeah. There's a book club. The biggest book club on the planet. Is that going to be an Apple News Plus? or Book, book Plus? Book, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Apple. So she's saying, imagine where Apple stores stream a conversation with an author and it's live across all devices across all borders. But then isn't that only a one-way conversation? She's stealing yeah. CNET's book she club podcast. <laughs> she did the most stimulating book mm-hmm, club. Mm-hmm. She did Oprah voice. I love it. Of course. I would expect nothing less. Yeah, and make then, sure you listen to CNET's book club with uh, um, various CNET editors. It's basically the same thing that Oprah's doing. Just telling you what books to read. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And why you should. They interview but, but an author. She's going to stream yeah. it. So it's Dan Ackerman. Yeah. It's an hour and 45 oh. minutes that we're coming wow. out. That is long. Oh, wow. All right. Make it like a two hour movie here. Sure. I is. know. We could have just watched one of these series. Uh, yeah, oh, exactly. She did the Oprah voice. She she did the yell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she did an Oprah yell. Yeah. That was something I would not have put on a bingo card. Mm-hmm. An Oprah yell. No. <laughs> not at all. It, you can't have Oprah without. Okay. All right. Tim's Tim, back out. Tim back. Tim back. Tim Apple. Oh, she does a big Oprah yell. There we go. Standing up. All right. So this must be the end because Oprah, you can't follow Oprah. No, you can't. You really can't. So no. it has to wrap it up now and be like, here you go. We'll tell you more details later. Mm-hmm. But that's all we have for you now. And Air Power is available in the store. I'm just going to check the Apple store. Just in case. Yes, do it. Do Even it. Tim, just starstruck by Oprah Winfrey. He's like, there I will go. never forget this. Yeah. Oh. Tells her as she leaves the stage. Oh. That's pretty sweet. He's so giddy. So if you look at the Apple website, apple.com, they've got all of the new stuff that they've just announced up there. It's like uh, they've got the card, they've got News Plus, they've got TV Plus, they've got Arcade, all up there. So it's they're on the ball and just updated everything. I'm just looking for air power, though. Cause, uh, Tim yeah. Cook is crying, y'all. I, I he's like, he's what a fun what? No, no joke. He just wiped out a um, tear. FYI, that's what you do when you meet Oprah. No. You cry. You Come cry. on. You freak out. Come that's, on. That's what happens. She probably gave him a free car. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he doesn't She just need has one. a bunch of keys in her purse, and she's like, oh, you're so nice. Here's a free yeah. car. Oh. Here's a free car. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was the highlight to me, seeing Tim Cook get stark. Get a teary-eyed. Yeah. Will there be anything under everyone's seat? I doubt. Oh, I doubt it. I wish. That would be fun. Unless Apple it's an iTunes They're not that exciting. They're yeah. not that exciting. <laughs> Unfortunately, no Also, power we can't accept site. anything from them anyway, so mm. Shara would have to give her car back. <laughs> I know, totally. Shara's like, what? <laughs> Say what? No, yeah, no air power on the store. I'm sorry, Vanessa, your dream is dead right now. I know. Maybe WWDC. But is the reason why we only want the air power is he because just said, we don't He also just it? said, what a fun morning. I think we were watching a very Sorry. different events. Yes. Woo! Yeah. He was watching some Aquaman in the back, yes. maybe. Keeping an eye on things. But all right, wrapping things up oof. now. Oh, wow. All right. Just have all those Apple employees stand up. Yep. Thanking everyone for coming, and uh, and that's it. I am that very appreciative like of the fact that they have done a lot of licensing for or just signing all these people. Um it is very interesting to me that they are leaning very heavily on not licensing any content. Yes. Like Netflix would license mm-hmm. Friends. They don't seem to be doing this. Mm-hmm. They're going to rely on you subscribing to Netflix to get that content, which is really savvy. It seems really shrewd. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it, it will make them less money in the long run, but maybe make more people inclined to subscribe to Apple 
right. uh, TV plus. Why? Just as an aggregate. Yeah. If, yeah. If, 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 the, if the algorithm that recommends is really good, if they nail that. Yes, they mm-hmm. definitely. I would sign ha- up. Would, I would sign up. I, absolutely. But if not, I, why do I need this? All right. Well, the event has finished. Welcome they back. They didn't say a price, though, which is the most disappointing Well, they're not going to say a I'm price. I'm shocked sorry. by they're that. They're not going to say I a price. Shocked. So I'm shocked. The event was an hour, 15 minutes. And let's wrap up on CNET Live. You can tweet us with your questions about Please. the presentation, about what you saw, if you want to know any extra details, if you want to let us know about anything interesting that you've seen, like tweets or memes like that that have come up. Let's run through everything I, I, that we saw. Here? Everything that we saw. Let's check. Can you, can we hear you, Vanessa? I don't know. Is my mic working? We can. It's yeah, kind of an awkward angle. That was the one Carlos we've been having problems with. F eighty one says, "Does anyone still really care about Oprah?" <clears throat> yes, but he also says, "This whole thing seems like it's aimed at forty to sixty year old people who can't figure out streaming services." And I think you're right. I, I agree. Like this yep. is for casual it's, people absolutely. who are scared to maybe cord cut, who haven't done it yet, who are maybe like. Well, this might be a good way to do it because it's all in one place and I don't have to kind of figure things out. You're I think you're right on the money. This is this good. All right, let's run through. What do we get today? We got number one, Apple News Plus. Apple News Plus. News Plus. It's I think to me personally, that was the most compelling um service that they presented today, mainly because it's concrete. We know how much it's gonna cost. We know when it's going to be out. We know how to get it. It's available now. I'm going to have to switch. Let's swap. We'll do, we'll do this. We'll, we'll do a musical we'll chair. We'll share. Yeah, we go. We'll just share. We can share. Um, mainly because it's available starting now. You can download it with the latest software update. Uh-huh. We know how much it costs, and it provides a an added value that we weren't getting from anywhere else. I mean, there's there's other services that you can that aggregate magazines for you, but this is basically you have access to an entire newsstand at your fingertips for $9.99. Now, mm-hmm. now, obviously, you know, some people might not want it, but it, at least it provides something different that you weren't getting before. And I think on the flip side, it also benefits the publishers because as Ashley sure. was saying, you know, this is really a space that that even if Apple p- takes 50% of the cut, these were, you know, uh, print is a dying breed and this is going to kind of reinvigorate i think the 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 print landscape just because Mm -hmm. it's going to give a whole new generation of people access to all these print magazines that may not have they they wouldn't have maybe subscribed to ever ever so that we have that and i that that to me was the most compelling obviously you know ashley wants the credit card (laughs) i I mean (laughs) yeah i i I, I want the credit card who doesn't want to flex with the credit card card. let's all be real (laughs) We have the credit card. Okay, so I think this one is the most, uh, you know, as exactly to Ashley's point was saying about, you know, we always want hardware at an Apple event. And, yeah, we got it, but with a credit card, like a physical credit card. And that's the one that people are most excited about. That's certainly the one that I'm most excited about because I think it, there is a space for it in the market. That market is yes, ripe for disruption. It is. It's absolutely ripe for disruption. The fact that you can apply for it on the phone, get the approval, you know, within a couple of minutes and have it integrated into the wallet have it accessible and use it wherever where you can use Apple Pay. I'm not 100% sold on those extra features that you can use in order to sort of tell you like how much you're spending. I think that's not particularly new or exciting, but I am interested to see how Apple integrates into it. Mm-hmm. What I am interested more in is, uh, you know, the higher levels of cashback, the, the, the lack of fees, the way that this is presented as a digital first card rather than stuck in, you know, the... The, basically the framework that we've thought of credit cards and credit in the entire system, which is a physical card mm-hmm. that is tied to you. This is digital first, secondary card if, if you, you want one. If you want. You know, that's it. And I, I think the proposition there um, is, you know, particularly appealing to someone like me mm-hmm. in the demographic that I'm in. Yeah. I think it's very, very interesting. This is the way to get younger people to sign up for credit cards who – at this point have been kind of trained to be very wary of credit card companies, Agreed. especially 18 to 25. Um, you know, we, that generation is, is maybe a little bit less spend happy than uh, older millennials or even boomers or gen X. And, you know, I think a lot of credit card companies have been very concerned about this and they don't know how to fix it. And again, it's, it is a vertical that is ripe for disruption um, and, and desperately needs it. 
uh, simplification of how to understand your credit card bill. You know what you're getting. Like, I mean, these are things that we don't teach kids when they're in high school or, or and if they get that education, that is an advantage they have, not the default. And then on top of that, um, you know, it's it's all very predatory. And this feels hopefully after it launches. I can't say for sure that it I mean, obviously, they want your money. They, they want to make money off interest and they they want you to, you know, put a new laptop on your on your Apple card. But the thing is, is it it does feel in some way a little bit less predatory because it's not a bank running the card. Right. Like, well, and what you were saying, I mean, also, I so. it. I'm used to interacting in an, in the Apple ecosystem, in the Apple interface. Someone said that they were going to do the ring system that they use on the Apple Watch. Apple has this way of um, demystifying some some hard concepts, and I think credit cards are one of those. And just by what little we saw, it already feels a little bit less intimidating than signing yes. up for a regular less credit card. for sure. Because... A, because there's no fees, but B, because you're getting everything daily. Your your rewards you're getting daily. You don't have to wait. Like For me, the instant gratification or seeing things on the daily basis definitely helps demystify it for me because I don't mm-hmm. I, I don't. I don't go through the discipline of going through my credit card statement at the end of every month, you know, and making sure it checks out. Like right. to have it instantaneously on the same device where I already have all my banking, where I have everything else. Um, and in in a way that it's that is easy to digest because it's visual it's right it's it to me that that's the benefit of it now obviously we were talking about the travel perks that might be you know one of the things that i what if i'm deciding between an apple card versus another card that might play in heavily sure yeah but, that may they may change your mind if yeah. you're if you're very travel heavy and that's important right. to you this might not be the credit card for you but it definitely piqued, piqued my interest yeah. and i you know but I if you're think- deep into the apple <laughs> ecosystem this card seems like it would be a, a good choice if you were looking to have a card. But who knows what your credit score is going to have to be to get this card? Who knows what the APR is going to be? I mean, there are a lot of questions still about it. And Variable so- APRs range from 13.24 to 24 point, 24.24 based on credit worthiness, but they don't say what your credit score has to be. Uh, that's the current rate. So if you have not great credit, you're really 24%. only... I mean, that's like five percent right. less than yeah. the worst APR right. you're gonna find on any garbage so, credit card. So it's yeah. not it's that's not that's not really that much better. But the thing is, the whole premise would be they're encouraging you to sign up for this, even if perhaps you aren't very good at managing, because it should make it potentially easier to understand where your money is going and how much you need to pay off. Mm-hmm. I've just signed up to get notified about the Apple Card when it launches in summer because oh, I'm a geek. I just you I want to know. I did, I did it. I did it. I love it. Yeah. I mean, okay. So the Apple Arcade. Okay. Are we are we excited about this or interested in it? I need a price. I yeah. We need a price. How and much I is this costing me? I'm not the key demographic. I I I'm not a I'm not a hardcore gamer like Ashley, nor am I a casual casual iphone iPhone gamer enthusiast if you will exactly but yeah i think the price like you said is gonna it's gonna be so price dependent yeah is it a row it's is is it a rotating list of games how often does it rotate i don't know and i don't have kids yet am i gonna miss a game over the course of a month and then go oh my god i wish i had played that instead of this (laughs) game like how long are they going to be there for are they going to change all hundred let's say it's a hundred games a hundred games are going to change all of them out every month because well, I can't I play all those games. They, they're going to continue adding. So it, they made it sound like they're just going to continue expanding the library. adding the service. Yeah. Okay. So it's like a, it's a permanent library. They'll keep adding right. to it. How are they going to work with developers who do games that check a server to make sure you're not cheating? That's another good question. And apparently, I think the way that they're going to... I mean, this is all, all from rumors, so I'm not sure, but... That they were going to pay the developers based on how much time people are spending playing their games. That's so, interesting. So that would be mm. a fair that way. That I like. To, that seems right? fair. Yeah. That's like the YouTube model, kind of watch time. A little time. bit, right? Yeah, exactly. Watch time, so, yeah. so play time will then um, will then decide how much each developer is getting paid. So that's an incentive for developers. It's a great incentive game. to 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 be on that service. But here's I love this tweet from Marcus Shear on our CNET Live hashtag. So other than no air power, what would have made today's event feel more innovative, fresh, or apple Like, what's the thing that we needed to see? Like, well, Lexi, what's the thing? I think we needed to see less of the stuff that wasn't apple to be honest. I think it was a question of removing the stuff that was, I think, auxiliary to the message. 
I know that they were going after a different audience and they were trying to, you know, make ties with Hollywood. But I'm not sure after watching that if I was someone in Hollywood who was looking to produce something or get a project off the ground, if I would want to choose the Apple service. Yeah, it has a lot of great, you know, big names and fantastic, you know, potential productions there. But in terms of like, is it going to be cutting new ground? Is it going to be somewhere that is going to support shows and things that I actually want to be making as a creator? I'm not sure. And that list is, again, the demographic is, it's very old. Does it feel kind of a okay, little bit like but... when they launched Apple Edition, the Apple Watch Edition, where it was like, everyone's like, why are you making a $20,000 smartwatch yeah. that's going to yeah. be obsolete the next iteration? Like, that's super weird. And it feels a little bit like that, where it's kind of out of touch. I, I have maintained that I, I love Apple. I have Apple products. I get excited when we see new hardware, but also I am not an Apple cheerleader. Like I, I wouldn't say that I'm rooting for them to fail either. I'm not one of the people who go Apple's doomed after every single event, but I am also a person who can objectively step back and look at Apple as a company that is struggling in some ways to do some new stuff. And I wonder if that is because traditionally they have been so conservative launching these things and also because historically they really did a number on the music industry when iTunes came out and when the iPod came out and now other content creation industries are very wary of doing this kind of business with them Definitely. and i i wonder if that is makes it it obviously makes it more difficult for them to launch these things but it's like you it hurts them to not launch these things uh, 2 years ago mm -hmm. Well, and not necessarily to launch them two years ago, but I just think that that you you kind of touched upon this. There, there. It's very. It feels very cautionary. It doesn't mm -hmm. feel like a real launch. It it feels. It, this is very unlike Apple in that it doesn't seem fully baked yet. We we just saw very short clips. We saw very vague um, descriptions from the actors themselves. There wasn't. I think that because it got boring because it was so vague. And so I feel like they could have, if they had something a little bit more concrete, they could have sped through it faster. Uh -huh. They would have gotten my attention more. And I think they buried the lead because the the real value here is a, yes, the privacy that it won't be following me ar around outside of the Apple ecosystem, not just the video streaming service, but all the other, all the other services. I liked that the news news, ex for example, is not going to be, I'm not going to, you know, look up a a story about about a, a location, and I'm not going to start seeing right. pop ups. But but also the you know the gaming and the video streaming, it's not going to follow me around. The the safety and the security issue is a huge one. I think they buried that lead and the lead of curation, and that this is something potentially unique that Apple can give you is by by aggregating all this streaming content that I already have and, and we were not selling your data and not selling your and not exactly. selling it. that's the big thing that's it's like we're lead. gonna make this amazing yes. algorithm that is gonna or machine learning process that is gonna be able to curate your magazine subscriptions the things you read the mm -hmm. things you watch the things you so that you're not spending 36, 36. <laughs> minutes every night scrolling through trying to figure out what you want to see but they have to sell that beyond anything else. Oh, yeah, exactly. So they spend so much time with these little vague trailers right. that, like, they they should have. I mean, I know, like, it's nerdy to talk about the things that we're talking about right now. But it's but important. It's so much more important. And it set, would set them apart so much more. And it's it's very Apple. It's something only Apple can provide instead of trying to be HBO. Right. Instead of trying to do Just saying, a, look at all our shows. Yeah, instead of trying to be an upfront like you were saying, you just nailed be it. Apple. This like, it, it felt planner. cautious. Yeah. And and the thing that makes me excited when I see an Apple event, and I'm sure you guys feel the same way, and I'm sure a lot of our audience feels the same way, is when something is bold mm -hmm. and you can tell they feel super confident about it. And they go out there and they're I mean, they go out there and say things like courage. courage. <laughs> like, yeah. Which One is word. ridiculous, but also you're just like, wow, they really feel so confident in this that they're able to go out and say these things. And this felt very cautious and it felt um maybe a little unsure of themselves because this is a space they've never been in before. And so to me, that translates you can you can sit there on stage and read a teleprompter and say, This is the greatest thing that's ever gonna happen to you. But I did not get that from that presentation. I no. got we I got this. We really hope you like this. We are kind of working on it and it's like kind of good. And we we think it's cool, but we hope you think it's cool. And it's like that 
kind of neediness of like it's so unlike them it's, it's so unlike them you hit the nail on the head when you called it twee though before because i think that was the whole approach it's like oh yeah please like what we have to offer it it would be it's great if you sign up we have some big names yeah i'm like shane i think on the scene at live hashtag also um hit the nail on the head we need to see a price on the tv service 100 percent. and they needed a catalog or other tv shows and not just focus on originals because we don't these are all really risky Thing. I mean, they're safe, but they're also risky yeah. because as a consumer, you go, is it worth me handing over my hard-earned cash for this service? Because there's nothing I know. It might be from a creator I know, but it doesn't mean I'm going to like it. Mm -hmm. Here's here's what, if let's all play if I were Tim Cook. Um, <laughs> if, I, if I were in charge of Apple, today would have been the price, maybe Steven Spielberg, Oprah, a couple big creators, and then you spend the entire summer... We have to oil that microphone. <laughs> I um, will oil it. We have to, we have, and then they spend the entire summer releasing trailers for these shows, doing things like um, Nintendo does Nintendo Direct, where they're like, here's some trailers for some upcoming content we have. And it's just online. It's not a big deal. It's not an event that you go to. It's just, here, we're going to do this thing. Every month you release trailers for stuff and you say, wow, we're so excited that, that this person is going to create stuff with us. Here's what they're making. And once again, you reiterate that price point. Once again, you're going to be able to get this and more on mm -hmm. our Apple TV Plus app. Well, and that's, I mean, I think if anything, so obviously tame, tone down the upfront style presentations and highlight what you are good at, Apple. But but also, we they didn't touch upon the biggest strength that we had been talking about over here, which is the, bundle, the, the power of the bundle. We did not see Indeed. any of that. Not even like a hint that we will be able to get all these services for one amazing price of $19.99 or anything or whatever, like that. Yeah. Whatever. But like not even a hint of that. And I think that was going to be their strength. That was going to be, you know, their, their superpower. So I... Uh. I don't know. I will say, so Charles... That's what I would have done as Tim Cook. Right. That's a, the, So Charles Leroy on Twitter, on our on our CNET Live hashtag, says, attention in this space is a good thing. Best formula wins. More players mean more perspective. Creators get to access their audience. I agree with all of that. I think the amount of money that is being given to diverse storytellers is a huge deal. And they're being allowed to tell the story they want to tell. Leeway... Uh, to those storytellers to tell those stories. We like this sort of like, look at how great everything is. Cause it's like, you know, like that's not reality. Like, and it's just, you know, they can have that anti reality distortion bubble that they live in. But the thing is, is when people watch content, they, it's, they watch that, but they also watch things with anti heroes. They watch dark TV. They watch, you know, edgy TV. And it's, I mean, it's, it feels like something is missing. I do. I. It is a existing content that they're just leaning on. They they assume you have other subscriptions, which might be a really smart thing, and I th I think it probably is because they're not paying for that licensing. Yes, but Netflix is not there, and, and most. I mean, Netflix is not part of this, so I think a lot of people have only that one Netflix subscription, right? And this does not include Netflix. So that all already excludes a lot of their audience um, or their wannabe audience. And this was supposed to be like, this has been touted as the Netflix killer. And I, for one, don't think we saw that today. Absolutely by not. By any no. means. And, you know, sure, maybe if you're an HBO subscriber, you'll now get it through the TV app. But I ultimately, I think that, you know, the things we, it sounds like, we're most excited about are not, are, are not the Apple original content, but they're the things that Apple... The possibilities. Well, they're the, they're the things that Apple is good at. You know, the finance stuff, the, the aggregating news with the alongside the privacy yeah. um, and not selling your da data it's to It's how they present all of this to you as yeah. opposed to what it actually is. Right. And then, you know, the, the best part for me about the TV, the t Apple TV possibility is the app itself and the, the, the aggregating the content. Mm -hmm. It's not mm -hmm. very... I agree. Content. But. So based off what we saw today, what is the likelihood that we are subscribing to TV Plus? For me, it's a big fat uh, 5%. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. If, if there's a free trial and then I can binge watch the content that I want – if mm -hmm. I find it interesting and then I can quit because if it's just launching with those titles, there's really probably only one that I would be interested in just, 
just going off that blind. I'm only interested in it if it has a bundle attached. Because I would love News Plus and TV Plus together. Um, that's something I would be interested in. Uh, but as it stands, if it was by itself and I would have to subscribe, you know, $10, $15 a month for it or whatever, because a billion dollars on original content is like, you know, it's an investment and they're going to want to make that money back. So I would say, um, yeah, I, I would say unless it's bundled and and the price is right, um, copyright CBS, uh, <laughs> and the price is right, I I would not subscribe currently. How about you, Beach? You gave a big thumbs down, I noticed. No, no, no. I'm not going to subscribe. I will do a month. Any of it? I, I will any do any a one it? month uh, trial. For the, try it out. I would yeah. definitely try the credit card. Are you going to try the news? Um, no, no, no. Okay. Twitter. I don't is my think news. you can get the credit card on a on a one month yeah. trial, but <laughs> but you know, yeah. fair enough. We can, yeah. But that's what we're talking about. Like the you know what you were most interested in was the nerdy finance yeah, stuff. Some you know, hardware, some, yeah. something I can use. You know that something practical, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, it's the practical things, and I think I would if I had if I were offered Apple Music and the news service, the the magazine service, I think I would take it up on the bundle. Um, mm -hmm. but. I definitely am going to try the one month subscription for the news. The news. I do get a lot of news from the news app, especially because I can read headlines on the Apple Watch. <laughs> and I always have it with me when I'm <laughs> rocking my child to sleep. Don't tell them. <laughs> um, but so I would try that one for sure. And I think I would give the TV, the new TV app, um, a try. I would aggregate my subscriptions, which is at this point aren't that many, mm -hmm. and Netflix is not one of them, just because I'm interested to see what their curation service is like and whether I would try that or not. And I think that might determine whether or not I subscribe to Apple TV. Uh, sorry, Apple TV Plus. But for now, the Apple TV Plus part is the last thing on my radar. Yeah. And real quick, um, someone on Twitter actually put this up that – uh, Amazon Prime does let you subscribe to HBO and Showtime inside the Amazon app. Hmm. So there are, you know, some of them are doing that right now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is, it's not the first time we've yeah. seen and this. And you can do it in PlayStation View and Slink. You can subscribe yeah. to HBO in a lot of different are you, places. Any of, are you going to do the I, one month subs um, trial? For I, I, wanted, I want to do the one month trial, but I want, when they do announce pricing and the ability to bundle, what I do want is the ability to choose what services I want in the bundle sure. rather than them going, okay, it's fifteen ninety nine for News Plus and TV Plus. And then I'm like, oh, well, what if I want Arcade as well? But I don't want to get all four or whatever in one. That's what I would appreciate if it was, if the bundling options were available so you could like choose your own adventure style. But are you going to do, because the only thing available... Sorry, the, only <laughs> the only thing available that you can start trying now, like right this news. minute, is the news. So yeah, are you going to do that? Are you going to sign on to the one month? I'll try it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll try it. Yeah. Yeah, why, not? yeah. why not? Why not? Why not? Nothing to lose. All right. Well, I think that about wraps up our Apple event here on CNET Live. Uh, it's been a lot of news. Are you pumped about it? I don't know. Keep talking on the CNET Live hashtag. Thanks so much, Ashley, Vanessa, Beecham. It's been a blast. Woo! Signing off. Make sure to join us next time here on CNET Live. I guess the next time we'll be back here is uh, WWDC, huh? Mm -hmm. Developers mm -hmm. Conference oh, in yeah. June. We've got some more dates Apple. for that. More Apple. More June Apple coming 3rd. your way. I won't be allowed June. to fly at that point, so I'll just we'll call be in, in LA. I'll be watching. Skype into we'll, it. I'll we'll be Skype watching. We'll Skype, Skype you in. You'll Skype right in. here, Ashley. Yeah, just You'll Skype me on TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for CNET for all of the extra details on today's Apple event. See you later.